Harmonica out here. We got Brother Zeke in the building. What's going on? What's going on? We got my cousin Makita in here. Yeah. I love your new <laughs> hairstyle, girl. Look at you, girl. Yeah, look at you now. Look at you. <laughs> That's the fire. She got the fire. Yeah. <clears throat> we got an interesting show tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Sakina. Kia. Mm. They, they jumping in already. They Come excited. On in. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot, man. We got a lot tonight. We got a lot. Um, hey, how was your weekend, man? Pretty good, man. It was, it was uh, pretty good. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. How was yours? This is the... Uh, oh, it's great. It was great. It was great. This is... Um, what? Fourth of July coming up? Oh yeah! So this is the Fourth of July. July. We, we got a, we got a yeah, explosive show. We got some fire pop. Pop, pop, pop. We yeah, we got the, we got the fire. Yeah. We gonna blow it up. Man. We got a firework display after the show, so I want y'all to stay. Uh, say it, really? Hold on, while you say that, did you did you hear? Well, but first off, by my house, they had an actual firework that I don't know if the dude was buying the firework and he got mad and he just threw like some flammable in there and it just completely set on fire. It burned out, yeah, they had the whole the area. Whole yeah, oh, wow. yeah. God. Then I read another deal, a uh, guy hooked up to one of them, uh, those stands and just 
hooked it up to his truck and rolled off for like eighty thousand dollars worth of. Uh, oh yeah, they they easy to get up out of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially you have all the hookups and stuff. Right. But my weekend was pretty fly, man. I uh, I went to uh, Sunshine Vegan Restaurant this weekend, okay. and I met an interesting young man. Okay. The dude sells water, man. Dude's name is Rodney Sullivan. You okay. hear me? Okay. Rodney, I think he gonna be. I think he wanna be on the show next week. What's up, Rodney? Okay. You out there, baby? You watching? Come on down. <laughs> it's Talk called trap water. Okay. Okay. And it's alkaline. It's like one of the highest alkaline waters you can get. It's it's a black dude, man. This Come dude on. the uh, packaging is nice. He got a nice. Uh, it, it looks really good. Okay. This dude is selling water, man. Hey, man, we need to support, especially that alkaline water. It's yes. Good. Yes. Oh, so, the dude on. name is Rodney Sullivan. He sells trap water. And you can get it at Vegan, at, at the uh, Sunshine Vegan Place off OST. Okay, shout and out. support the, the uh, vegan place also as a restaurant. Such good food. Yes. Come on now. Such good food. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Rodney. Rodney, Rodney, you gonna be on here next week. Come on. So man. I'm gonna give, give him a shout out. Oh, yeah. And uh so Shonda, Kim. Hey, mm. where can we find that uh trap water? You know? You put a link. Uh, you put a link down in there? I think let me see. Let me see if we got a link. So you have a yeah, he got an email. Okay. He got email and numbers, yes, and I'll put that in the uh, description on YouTube. So uh, right now you can't see it, but I'll if you go to YouTube after the show or tomorrow, <laughs> you will see the description. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you'll see the uh, information in the description. We'll get it to you. Yeah, we'll get it to yeah. you. But yeah, make sure y'all support. And oh, also they got a wine bar. A black-owned wine bar in Missouri City is B's Wine Bar. Okay. She have karaoke every Wednesday. Okay. Uh, she might have DJ Silky Black on Thursday. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 she said, "Hey, let." She said, "Give me your information. Let me know, baby." I said, "Yes, baby, yes." <laughs> I get it in there. <laughs> and so, uh, but yeah, y'all. Where, where, where is it at? No, it's uh, it's off Highway Six and. Oh man, I don't even know the address. We're gonna put it in there. We'll put it in we'll, there. We'll put it in there. We'll put it. Matter of fact, I think I gotta shout out to all the black owned businesses. We yeah, got man. to support each other. We got I mean, to, man. You see how they kicking us off airplanes and yeah, bus yeah, stops yeah. and stuff. Wait, hey, wait a minute. Did you see that one with the, the little kid mowing the grass? Man, come And on. they call the cops on him? Like, come on. The dude was mowing his grass. He was what, eight years old? Something like that? Eight or nine? Eleven. Okay, eleven. Okay. Okay, so. The, the yard didn't have a fence, and it was, you know, one of them yards with the, the grass touching. Right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. He got a little bit over on her side, like a lawnmower limp, cut some of her grass. She called the cops immediately. She should be happy. Come on, man. Thank him. She should. <laughs> she should. Yeah. On. She called the cops. The cops said, man, don't call me for this, man. Yeah, but it made, it on, made the new, it's like every week, it's... Something while black. So now I couldn't grab when we were growing up. I mean, that's just what it was. Yeah, yeah, but you know, summertime, I mean, the kid was definitely trying to work for himself, right. start his business. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? It, it, hey, it's, Kai. it's a silver line to that story because I think uh, this guy who uh, he had his own uh, landscaping business, he yeah. found out about it. Yeah. He ended up like giving a blow or maybe a weed in exactly. the him. So, you know, that didn't get as much coverage. Hey, Vet. And so, you know, that's... Hey, why Vet? <laughs> uh, hey. Yeah, hey, and, and now, now the little boy business is booming. That's, that's good. See, what's up? Yeah. The devil... There's a lot. ...get mistreated sometimes when he try to step in the wrong way, is what I'm trying to say. Wait a minute, hold on. Did you hear about that? I'm sorry. The devil <laughs> get mistreated sometimes okay. when he try to step up in the wrong way. Gotcha, gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. He, like he, get, nip, he, get, he get Nipsey <laughs> slapped. Did he like get Nipsey, Nipsey slapped? <laughs> you, did you see that with the uh, BET, the Nipsey slap? Oh yeah, we're gonna, we gonna get it in there. But, before we do... <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. <laughs> we're gonna get it to it. It's a little we'll juicy, man. It, we'll get it Zach, Zach, it. Zach, yeah, it's too juicy, Zach. It's, it's, it's too juicy. juicy. I told you it's fire today, okay. Well, it, we got a lot, so okay. we trying to cover it. But, did y'all know 
Toys R Us is dead. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, okay, so, you know, I mean. I don't want to grow up. There we go. I'm a Toys R Us key. The many toys or toys or us that I could play with. Oh, wait, did you? From bikes to games mm -hmm. to video games. Yeah. It's the biggest yeah. toy store there yeah. is. And I don't want to grow up. Cause yeah. baby, if I did, I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Oh, that's, I know. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I think that that's what's wrong with this world. There's. there's it's so much seriousness and mm -hmm. so much hatred. That's what's advertised more than the positive things, mm. more than the, the the happy stuff like Toys R Us and the love. And you know, you listen to the radio all day you heal. That, that bitch, you know, right, like right, what about right, the right. bump and grind? Let, let me ah, spend some roses. Oh, you know, I not say nothing about it. What about the bump and roll? What you understand what I'm saying? Let me hold you. Let me. Yeah. Not, not then we call you a bitch. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tank, Tank got a good one. When we. Oh, yeah. He oh. Touch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that's a good one now. That old Tank. That touched my spine every time I hear it. Yeah. Touch your spine. Hey, Adrian. <laughs> What's so, up, fellas? I mean, uh, you think with this, this store closing, a lot of people are sad, or is it just. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm, are you sad for real? Well. I might be part of the problem they got canceled. Because <laughs> I stay on Amazon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is too yeah. easy, man. Because I mean, Amazon, well, I, I use a lot of speaker wires and stuff like that. And okay. the wires, they do go out. Sometimes the stores, they don't have them. Gotcha. So you go to Amazon real quick. You go to Amazon and you it's right there. And you can say, I want it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, you might have to pay ten dollars extra, but you need it, so get it right away. You get it right away. So that's where we live in convenience. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, as a kid growing up, I mean, Toys R Us is that one place you just got lost in. Oh if, God! If, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if your parents told you, you get, get you something, you just you knew you couldn't get but one thing, but you was gonna look at everything. You was gonna, gonna touch everything up. Yeah, man. It was. It was just. Yeah. I'm talking about this before video games and all that. Yeah. I mean, you physically had to play with toys and, you know, I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's different now. Because right. kids don't play with toys no more. It's, nah, they, they got real sophisticated games and cell phones. And oh, cell yeah. phones. Oh, they want, yeah, they want, they want real, real stuff. Yeah. They, they want car. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, they don't want, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> but i tell you what, though, well, a few years ago, we had, uh, me and my family, we went to New York, and I wish that Toys R Us stayed open because that Toys R Us had like four floors and had a, a Ferris wheel in it. Mm. I mean, it was just an experience. So, well, I mean, you know, maybe that's uh, everything has a beginning and everything has an end. But what? But what does this do to the toy makers out there? Do they make toys? toys oh, they still make them. No, Toys is they online now. Everything is on it, but you don't get to play with it before you buy it. Yeah, it's, that's all gone. Yeah, and that's well, maybe Walmart, maybe. Yeah, Walmart ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Yeah, Walmart ain't going nowhere. Walmart gonna pull on shut Amazon down. I know it. No, Amazon. Like Amazon ain't going nowhere. Amazon ain't going nowhere. Because <laughs> <Amazon ain't laughs> sometimes I see people just in Walmart chilling. Who we got? My grandmother. Don't you talk about <laughs> my Babe, my grandmother can stay in Walmart. <laughs> but I, I'm telling you, one day, I count how many. I told her she used to be one of those people at the door, just greeting. Oh yeah, yeah. John, she don't do that. She want to ride around the lake. She want to, you know, <laughs> ride the lake park. <laughs> hey, tell her every single person in her life still. I love her though, but yeah. Yeah, you know, but but see, ain't too the cool. Ain't too the ride. Be like, yeah, I was in there. I seen all the sales. I yeah. picked me up a TV, a mm -hmm. microwave. Well, I mean, if you, if you like people watch, it's a good place to go. Yeah, buddy. So you, can get watch, yeah. you can get some jokes about a wall. You can get some jokes out of wall. Good joke. Wild, 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 Achilles, the thing scrolling on, no. Yeah, like it's just kind of. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. Well, he coming in, they don't want to make it up in there. But, so, uh, so yeah, I got, was... I got a guest on the show tonight. I got a cousin. She's actually going to call in from Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Las and if Vegas. she don't call in, we going to call her. Mm. <laughs> so, <That's right. clears throat> I'm waiting on her in a minute. Matter of fact, it's my new cousin. I just met her. Uh-oh. Not too long ago at the family. Mm. Okay, was that the one with the clip? I saw that with the, she was doing like- No, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Was that that, but that was the one? Yeah, okay. yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. It's a surprise gift, okay. y'all. Okay. It's a surprise. But, uh, matter of fact, can you add her on the Achilles? Go to uh, add and then find uh, Ebony Marching. Hmm. Man. And uh, yeah, but they got a lot of stuff going on. What's now, going on? Makita, yeah. did you see the video I seen sent you about the anti rape thing? No? Look, look in your messenger right quick so we can talk about this. But I'm going to set it up for y'all. They got a device, right? It's, a, it's an anti rape device. Mm -hmm. And what this device does, that I'm listening. Z, I saw it. <laughs> Turn your phone down so we won't hear it. It's an anti-rape device. And what happened? It inserts into the vagina. Yep. And if a person, now you just wear it around. The girl just wear it around. <laughs> <laughs> almost hoping to be raped. <laughs> now I'm not an advocate of, of rape. I'm not trying to. Uh, what, what I'm trying to say, Zach? I'm, what you're I don't trying, condone. Hold on, hold on. I don't, got, I don't, we don't condone people I, rape. We don't condone people and if rape. You get caught with this. You deserve it. Is what you're saying. Right, right. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, what era are you in to just be wearing stuff like this? Okay, so let me let me let me let me let me let me, let me, let me, let me, let me break this. Like I looked this up because when I was looking, I was like. This got to be something crazy, but I think what happened is like, you know, like in certain parts of Africa where rape and like, um, Oh, okay. Um, I see what you're saying. You know, people were getting pregnant with so, uh, um, an HIV. Um, it was just overwhelming. It was so overwhelming. And so what they did was, it's actually, they call it like a vagina condom. Uh huh. And as long as it doesn't hurt the female, as long as she inserts it and she walks around, it's like a one-time use or something. So, my, okay, so my question is, is it is it washable? Do you, you know, because mm. I mean, if you don't get raped that day, is it no longer usable? Uh, I don't know. But apparently whenever it is used, um, how did they say it's some kind of uh, biting? No, no, it's like some razor sharp. Very, 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 very uncomfortable talking about it. Uh, yes. And, and, and apparently it's supposed to lock on the man, okay? The man can't get it off of him. It comes out of the female vagina. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> is it, a, is a they, crazy they say you I, insert, it's a little tube looking thing like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a. What's up, derail? It's like a vagina condom. Right, so it's a little tube, like a almost like a small cylinder, like a, a toilet like tissue a tube, roll, like a tube, yeah, like a toilet tissue roll, right. small, right. And you insert that into the vagina, right. And so when the man goes in, it's no problem. But when he tries to, yeah, from a woman's perspective, it's not small, just to be carrying around you all day, you right? Know, oh, okay, know. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, that's my thing is like, you know, you they just make this like, you well, who's going to be this? What is it? Ancient? Is it like a. Well, it's supposed to be squishy, soft. Okay. And so, okay. like a tampon, I guess. Wait, well, well, here's my here's my question, though. Okay, and this, this is, I'm just trying to understand it. Okay, so does it hurt the uh, woman to take it out if it's not used? I mean, no. Well, no, it seems like from the looks of it, it just glides right out. Yeah, okay, okay, because okay, okay, okay. it's, um, okay, when the, when the penis go in, supposedly, if you're raping somebody, <laughs> right? If, when the penis go in, they got some barbs up in there. Yeah, barbed wire or something. And some, some little pr this prickly, is, stickly thorns. It. This is like. And it's supposed to stick to the penis 
when you pull your penis out, it gets locked on it like yes. this. Okay. Now they say on this commercial to where you you need a doctor to get it off, mm. but obviously they don't. They haven't dealt with a penis, a hard penis before. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> because well, if you feel some. Pain on Immediately, your it's gonna be penis. It's gonna change. Well, yeah. It's not gonna be hard no more. It's gonna the say erection is gonna go away. Right. right? It's, 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 gonna, it's gonna slide out. It's gonna say real, 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 mac, mac. Oh. So that device is probably not gonna work if you try to. I, I well, mean, it might work for somebody that's on Viagra and they uh, just try to. I don't know. I mean. Uh, Hey Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, Darrell said he DJing right now. Hey, he DJ. just came through. All right. What's going on? All right. Yeah. What's up, Jimmy? What's up, little Jimmy? Got ten. DJ uh, Darrell out there working, baby. Spin it up. Come on now. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, that boy stay working, man. I wish you could be here, man. <laughs> but from the video, next to the little this little device from the video, the example they used was like a tomato, uh, not a tomato. A carrot. A carrot. Yeah. And carrot. they pull like the surface yeah. off of the carrot when they try to pull this little. Extremely plain. Yeah. yeah it was, off, so it, it pulled. And yeah. what she talking about, it was, a, they did a, a demonstration. A demonstration, yeah. They yeah. stuck a carrot in there. Mm -hmm. As if it was, yeah. And That's the thing nice. came out on top of the carrot like this. It was like, see? And they said, if we pull it off, it's going to rip skin off the yeah. Penis. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. That's not what's gonna happen. Yeah. Once, first of all, pain. That it's pain is gonna be pain. The, the penis may be slippery, <laughs> and it might just slide off. You might have an extra bunch of skin or something. Yeah. Somebody might not be circumcised. Right. Okay, it's be, it'd be real easy to pull it off like boudin skin. Alright, some and just, people just not blessed. Well, <laughs> and, and it just may not even well, yeah, be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It might not feel as bad. <laughs> Somebody might be ringing the dinner bell yeah, for yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so that might not work uh, at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess they have to, you know, they have to create something. Because, I mean, other than that, I mean, what, they. I mean, back what in the fifteen hundred, they had the big chastity belt, yeah, like to lock the vagina, key. Up, lock and key, yeah, like nobody's doing that. Yeah, nobody. just, uh, yeah. And something nowadays, you gonna have to duck it because they throwing it at you so much. Man, you gotta, man, you gotta be careful. Get that on my shirt. Watch that face, baby. You got to. Don't hurt that face, baby. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord, y'all something else, but uh. Mm. We got a special guest online, or uh, gonna be online. If you can, sugar, if you're watching, call us. Call me. Call me. Oh, I'm about to call you. Uh-oh. So, uh, we gotta get her on. And, uh, maybe she'll quit me. Talk to us with yeah, she don't talk to us real quick. It's a special guest, and I'm pretty sure y'all gonna like it. We got some questions for. Uh, maybe y'all can call in and ask us some questions. But I'm gonna go ahead and make the call. Uh oh. Oh, first time this happened. Look at that. Uh. Calling somebody from the show. What's up, Trey? Call up. Okay, she was at work early. You know the time is different over there. Oh yeah. And it was. Please leave your message for. And uh, two hours behind. Yeah, no, that damn. It's like nine o'clock over there, so. In Vegas. Yeah. It's like two, two hours. Yeah, two hours ahead of us. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I researched this. Now yeah, fact check. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We good. We good. We good. They're here. Yeah. They're good. They're good. They're good. All right. 
But uh, yeah, she gonna call back hopefully. But uh, well, oh man, I said last week on the show somebody posted this man. I don't know what evil son of a what posted this. They posted last week that Joe Jackson died. I know it. The day Michael Jackson died, and that was false, man. Why would y'all do that, man? Did he even die for real? Oh yeah, for real. Yeah, he died. For yeah, he real. Died like two days he ago. died Wednesday. Because, yeah, so that, that did that? Because I know he came out and said he made it public about his um, him having cancer, right? Yeah. And so he died like right after that. Yes. Yeah. That because they said that he had died. Oh, the rest ain't coming back, man. Uh, he, they said he had died Monday, but the truth is he died Wednesday, last Wednesday. Okay. And it, it hurt my heart to report something like that. I mean, I, I don't know Joe Jackson, right? But it's like we know Joe Jackson. Okay. Because he put his kids in the front light, and we all we we don't know his kids like no no, but they've been in our life for our whole life. Pretty yeah, much, you know, yeah, they've been in Jackson, good time, Mike, yeah. all of them, yeah, you know, they grew up. It's sad, but when I think of Joe Jackson, I don't think about him. See, that's the bad and, thing. And I know, oh. and I wish I knew him for something else other than, well, of course, like, he, you know, put his kids in the spotlight. He did what he had to do to, to mold them, to groom them, to, you know, to be successful in the life that they're living. It's, you know, it's to be but a you gotta look Michael at, and Janet, but. Yeah. You got to look at that situation. Okay, you got Joe Jackson. They was in a two-bedroom house. Right. With all them kids. This dude worked at a steel mill. I don't know if you know about a steel mill, but it is well, hot in there. And you gotta think, the men back then was men. Yeah, it was real men. It was real men, so, you know. Because, I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i looking at it like, I mean, you gotta think about it. Back then, you know, you had Motown, all of this. So if you was gonna make it, you had to be better than everybody else. You had to be. And then they wasn't nowhere near Detroit. Oh, it's behind. They behind? So she gonna be late. I mean, she gonna be late to the show. So I don't know. It don't matter. We'll figure it out. We'll, figure we'll it call out. her back later. Thanks, Ellis. We'll call her back later. Yeah. 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 See, I, see, see how these phones? Everything I got everything on my phone, man. Yeah. My phone just got my mind all squishy, man. I, I can't even. But I got my brother Zach here. Come on, man. He's gonna keep me straight. So look, we 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 we're gonna, we're happy gonna happy every we happy every color. <laughs> da, 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 da. Give, Give me a high five. five. Y'all ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody high five. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. I'm sorry. Uh, was it the, yeah. They were trying to high. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, right there. Well, it's too good. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, we missed <laughs> the moment. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so you know. Okay, we're we we, we talking about life still. We're going to get a little bit heavy because, you know, Joe passed away. Mass shootings still going on. What'd you say? Mass shootings. Oh. They're still going on. Another shooting, man. And you know, it's like our show is on repeat because we keep talking about the cops, the restaurants, the shootings, the cops, the restaurants, the shoot. It's like, man. Can we talk about other stuff that's in the news? Well, you I know, because that's all in the news. I think we what we might need to do is talk at it from another angle, cause that's obvious. Somebody go crazy. They sh- the Vegas shooting, the, the, the shooting right. in Florida, the shooting here in the church, uh, and mass shootings that have happened over the time. And you know, one thing I noticed, and it's really like all of them is that they have a, a, a bit of path, okay? Mm-hmm. You're dealing with um, either they, like in a situation where, the, the, uh, where they shot up at the, uh, the Santa Fe High School, mm-hmm. the boy got rejected, okay? And then 
he kept trying to talk to her, and I think she put him on blast, and then, you know, he fronted, she, she fronted him, and so he had to come back. So you start seeing, you know, abuse, and then denial, and embarrassment. But here's my thing. Does everybody want to be throwing this the mental uh, health thing on there? And I'm like, these 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 uh, shooters, you know, they grow up in pretty good households. You know, they they weren't deprived. They didn't go through less than better, you know, schooling and stuff. So, to me, I just don't buy. Why isn't they getting charged with like uh, terrorism? Because that's what they're doing. Exactly. Instead Why of, isn't they getting charged for terrorism? Yeah. I mean, because that's I, a terrorist to me. I'm terrified of that. I mean, you know, it's race related. You know, we know that. I mean, because it's mass shootings that take place every week in Chicago. Hmm. Nobody, you know, it's like, oh, okay, we just kill each other. You know, it's depressing, man. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, these, it's, it's like you be tired of seeing the loss of life and like nobody. Well, I don't say that. I don't want to say nobody, but um, it just don't seem like it's a, it's a, it's an effort to try to, you know, do some things to correct it. I don't know. It's, it's so sad to me. When it comes to deaths and shootings, it's like we've become numb to it. It's like, it's yeah. like, it's normal now. You know what I'm saying? To where it's not, of course it's stunning. It, like, it, it's painful, but it's a lot different than it was before. You right. know what I'm saying? It, right. It's because it's, it's like a little steam now. What? At first it used to be like, oh, no. But yeah. now it's like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, like, oh. And, and, and part of that, right. I think, is because of the way we transfer information. Like, you used to read about it. Mm -hmm. Now it's showing it as it happened yeah. live. And, uh, and you know, back in the days, you used to have to go... Like, not back in the days, but like 2000, 2099, uh, 2000. Yeah. You used to have to go to like special websites yeah, they wouldn't to show. see stuff like that. Now you, you can, they don't even censor it. You yeah. can see it. They don't even censor it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I seen a video the other day. A little girl got ran over and killed. And they just like showed the video. Wow. It was horrible. I wouldn't even be able to hold a phone, you know. <laughs> Right. To see something like that, that's crazy. Well, see, and, and see, my thing is, if you look at um, a lot of these mass shootings, a lot of times they ran into trouble with the law. They've been arrested. Maybe they were physically abusive. Maybe you know they made a terroristic like that. That that uh, uh, kid from Santa Fe, he had got on there and said, "I'm going." I'm gonna make the news shooting somebody or something like that. No. He said that on social media? Yeah, he said it on social media. Oh, like, so he ain't crazy. No, no, that's premeditated. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's murder. Yeah. That's murder. Yeah. And so I don't know, maybe maybe this is the new the end thing that they think that that's cool. And then a lot of time they turn the gun on themselves and you know, so uh, I don't know, we gotta uh, we need to have more discussions about that. I don't you know, the people who are the psychologists, the people who are in the communities, you know, the teachers. I don't know. We just need to get more people talking about it to bring more awareness. Yeah, I don't condone suicide. Before mm. you go up and kill a bunch of people, kill yourself. I'm mm. sorry. That does not no, sound right, sorry. but that's true. Yeah. That's, like, not, that's not, you know, you got innocent people. Then they they trying to come up with uh, routines to hide in your class from mass shooters. Right. We used to we used to practice tornado drills. You know why we got to practice uh, somebody coming in the building and killing everybody? Right. They, that should be no way, shape, or form that should be practiced at a school, at a public school. These are a few uh, examples to show. Uh, these are some kind of facts. James Huberty, who killed 21 people uh, in California in the McDonald's 84. Before he did that, he attacked his wife and he shot the family's German Shepherd in the head. Shut up. Okay. Classic? Yeah. Oh. No, no, that, that's a cop. Red 10 10. There you go. There you go. Virginia Tech killer, uh, uh, who child. Um, before he killed uh, and murdered 32 people, he was involved in at least three stalking incidents, okay? 
Mm. Uh, I mean, just the list, it just goes, it just goes, Nicholas Cruz, 19 years old, arrested in the parkland floor. He had reportedly uh, respond, responded after a breakup in a, in a relationship. And uh, he said he was so obsessed to the girl, he was stalking. Like, you know, those that see this stuff, you gotta tell somebody. I know we say snitches and stitches, but when it comes to, you know, innocent people getting murdered by people and it's gonna kill itself, I don't think it's a snitch in that right. part right there. You say, if you see something, say something. That's yeah, all. yeah. 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 Especially when it's you know? like a little innocent. Especially, especially if you hear them boys, girls, or whoever talking about. Now, I'm not gonna say girls because it's been all white boys. That's just facts. It's been all white boys. When you hear them little white boys talking about, I'm gonna kill everybody. Tell them. Yeah, don't take it. Don't well, take it. Don't you know it. what? It don't matter if you tell on them because the little boy that did the shooting and uh, I think it was. I don't remember where it was. It's been so many of them. They told on him. They went told on him. The federal, the uh, the FBI knew about him and everything. They was like, oh well, we not. He didn't do anything. Yeah. So we're not. Yeah, but but, but but I'm saying yeah, though, this goes people, back right, to being. But this goes back to being race driven because you know I work in the education system. I know for a fact there are some schools, certain school districts. You know, where there's a little money, and if you even look like you're gonna say something, you get expelled, you get dismissed, parents getting called, you know, it's gonna be some reassuring. And then, they, they, in other situations where they're not, uh, you know, not a uh, minority, right? Let's just be honest with you. Usually, all these shootings are taking place with white males in some uh, capacity. Uh, the mass shootings, at least, there hasn't been a mass shooting with. Minority that I'm aware of. If oh, there the, is somebody the, living. The living. guy that did the uh, shooting in Florida the, at the gay club, that was probably the only one. Okay, he okay. No, he was the uh, other. Okay. Oh. Okay. He was like, yeah. Some yeah. of these, some, I mean, honestly, some of these people really got self esteem issues. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this this, this guy, uh, Ramos, uh, another guy. He basically, uh, you know, had tried to get an online relationship. Thanked the girl because I guess she had said hi, and he thought she was being really nice to him. Mm. Pursued her. She was like, "Oh no, it wasn't like that." Then he found out. Killed her the next day. Then he found out she was wearing an anti-rape device. <laughs> well, he wouldn't have found that out unless he actually. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he found out because he left a. Uh, he left a camera in a car or something. She tell her friend, "Girl, I got an anti-rape, so if you try to get this, he gonna hurt his." That's not funny. That's not funny. That is painfully bad. That's a painfully bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now who slapped somebody? What man? Now we waking up. Now we talking uh -oh. about what I want to talk about. Uh oh, you know. BT Awards, shout out. Did y'all watch BT Awards? I didn't. Some of it. Yeah. I saw parts of it. Mm -hmm. Now I seen. You ain't seen no parts of the BT. Man, I, I saw parts <laughs> of it. Okay. Uh, I think I think the one a lot of people was talking about was the tribute uh, Yolanda Adams gave to Nita Baker. Mm -hmm. And uh, she told her house down. Shout out to sure Houston did. on Yolanda Adams. She always get her out. Um, and you then, know I know her. You do? And that's why I don't like Anita Baker? No, Yolanda Adams. Oh, like, okay. I love okay. it, but I don't like the Maybe movie. we can get on the show. Maybe so. Maybe we can get on the show. Yeah. Cause she she definitely did her thing. Uh, she did her. But, but no, we, we talking about, as usual, BET Awards always have something that happens. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, wasn't it T.I. that got caught with the guns? Mm -hmm. And then he had to go to jail. Well, this one, uh, rapper that goes by the name of Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle uh, is uh, from the West Coast. Um, he he, he, he uh, been doing rap, I think, for a few years, but he got his own. He got a, now. I would say this about Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle has he has a uh, I think he has a clothing store. Mm -hmm. I, thought, uh, I thought he was like an Instagram guy. Well, I mean, everybody's Instagramming now. Will Smith Instagramming. I mean, you know. It, 
You can't say that no more. But uh, so? Nipsey, Nipsey. Uh, so what is that? Well, no, I'm just saying it like. <laughs> oh, because I had Instagram. I took that kind of person. Yeah, yeah. I like Instagram, <laughs> man. You ain't really got to talk to nobody. Just post a picture. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, but anyway, he uh, he uh, apparently his vehicle. He was parking it in a place, and I guess there was an employee that told his bodyguards, "You can't park it there." And uh, so, uh -oh. it's, okay, so all this comes down with respect. He tried to, um, um, what the, the the security guard slapped the cone because he had moved the orange cone. And almost simultaneously. Who Nipsey Hustle? No, not Nipsey Hustle, Nipsey who, Hustle. Who moved up the park? I, mean, I think yeah. his bodyguard moved. Oh, okay. It. So his bodyguard moved it in while he was trying. Nipsey first was trying to talk to him to see what was going on. Uh -huh. The employee slaps the cone out of his hand immediately. He catches an open face hand. Ooh. Slap. Two pieces with this man. That's that's like worse oh, than just a side on. Oh no, no, no. It was like everything on the menu. Open Ooh. hand. It was like a sample it, plate. It was, it was like a number five, a number three, a number four. Man, it was like the slap heard around the world. Yeah, and then uh, of course they didn't let them, you know, off cable. Everybody was just like, yeah, that's how you, that's how you represent right there. You just uh, open face and slap. Something. Open hand and slap a man in the face. And then, and then go on rock the show with the BET. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, By the way, if y'all want to come in or add anything, y'all can call in at 713-714-7670. Call in. Call in. Talk to us. Let us talk to you. Talk it up. Yo. What else happened on there? I think... Uh, I don't know if it actually happened there. Did you hear about um, that guy, the producer... Borrowing two million dollars from Dame Dash. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. He said it's gonna be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that was Damon Dash. Dash. Yeah, he had borrowed like uh, no Damon Dash Lynn. Lynn. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Damon Dash two Lynn. million dollars to Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels. Before anybody knew who Lee Daniels was. Yeah. This was back when uh, Precious came out. Mm -hmm. the Apparently, first, the first movie. That was the first. Time I ever heard of it. Right. First anyway, gone. yeah, that's That's first known. And he apparently has been dodging him for like eight years. Ooh. So years? Precious came out, I think, in what, 09? 2010? Yeah, it's been a few years, let me just say that. Yeah, it's been a while. And so um he I don't know he goes to this, it looks like a, a church or something. And he confronts the guy like, uh, and he's like, "Hey man, you gotta pay me back my money." And like, uh, Lee Daniels was like, "Oh man, it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in my next thing." He's like, no man, I want my money. Yeah. And see, I was, uh, is, uh, I was uh, listening to somebody else comment on that. And see, it's, it's the thing, guys. There used to be a thing back in the day when you gave somebody your word, you gave them back because that's a lot of money. I mean, people. Come up missing for that kind of money. Now, Damon Dash, being the businessman that we think he is, should have had some kind of contract. Well, unless they, unless they, well, get I would, booty. Well, this oh, is what gosh. this is what I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> I think what happened was is that because Damon Dash is a street dude. And that the, the code is on the street is if you bar somebody and you tell them you're gonna do something, you do it. And so but not two million. Yeah, that's two million dollars. That's well, a lot of dollars. You know, he's that money could change a, a whole neighborhood in the south. Sure could, sure could. But you got, you got, you got, you got, you got to think this probably was uh, an investment for him too. So I know, you know, it's kind of risky. You know, Damon Dash had, you know. When he sold his company to Jay Z, and then Jay Z sold it, so I mean, man, it's just been a business deal. Regardless of the fact that uh, Lee Daniels, I guess because the tape got out, he he wanted to make it right, said he was gonna give him back his money. But yeah, what what what's up with the contract? Like, yeah, like you, you just don't show up with a bag with two million and be like, hey man, you know? Yeah, that, that's this ain't the scripts. Yeah. 
You know but the worst thing ever is for someone to borrow something from you and be around you as if you don't owe me. Like, oh, really? Especially at least two acknowledge million. it. You know, no, I don't two care. million ain't twenty dollars. Nah. Yeah, but that's that. But I understand. I hear, two million, I hear what you're saying. Two hundred dollars, two. Like, if you owe me, a, a, acknowledge it. It's the you principle. Know, it's the principle. Got you. It's yeah. principalities in you. Okay. Well, that's that, and, and I think that's what Dad was saying is that there is no honor mm. anymore in business. It's just cutthroat, and you know. So you, you you need to uh, let professionals handle that. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, you know, word don't mean nothing. <clears throat> that, that's why people say. And then you know, like us, me and you, right? We would look at somebody crazy. Be like, uh, if they come up and say, "Well, let's do this deal. Uh, I'll tell my people to call your people." We'll be looking at them crazy. No, but we, but them on that that amount of money, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to have your people yeah. call his people. Your people should already call these people. Like, it should be, you know, I mean, unfortunately, you just gotta take it to court now. That's the, that's yeah. the thing on, on that. Um, hope it gets his money, man. Like I said, cause I'm a, I, I mean, yeah. listen, cause with me, like, I mean. How did he ask for that anyway? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Are they getting booty? Ain't Lee uh, Dane uh, gay? Well, I yeah. think it was, it was Lee Dane. Is Dane Dash gay? I don't know. Who knows? No, doesn't, doesn't he has a baby no. with, uh, hey, hey, well, you know, in no. hip hop. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. None of that matters. <laughs> <laughs> he got $2 million. Dollars. That's yeah. for sure. But, but listen. But I think he because, just believed in him and his, in his dream yeah. election. I think that's what it was. Listen, back in the, back in the day, back $2 in the 70s. $2 million dollars worth of belief? Well, wait, wait, wait. Back Somebody in believe in me. <laughs> yeah. We got a movie script we're trying to produce right now. Oh, hustle and flow. Hustle and flow. No, I like that. She, she, she in the note, man. The, the, the G. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to, uh, who's that? Taraji? Mm-hmm. Taraji P. Taraji P. How did she do at the. Did she do anything? I didn't see. I, I watched parts of it, so I didn't see. Did she engage? To who? I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Is, is, is he. Oh, is he? He black. He brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, see how that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? That's the cash out? Yeah, that's, 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 the the cash out. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. trying to see. Not to sell out the cash out, you know. I'm trying to see if he was okay. off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but no, in, in the 70s, man, um, I know uh, Melvin Van Peebles, Mario Van Peebles' father, when he did uh, Sweetback Badass, he was trying to make the movie. And he ran out of money, and Bill Cosby had given like fifty thousand uh, completed. Then the movie came out, was successful. It made the money. He got it back. I mean, when it comes, and nobody to, was arguing over it. Nobody like, was arguing because everybody was about the word. See, the problem I have, if, if Precious would have been a little movie that didn't make no money, I can understand that. But you, everybody know Monique got an Oscar for it. It was big time. This dude basically became the the Tyler Perry of Hollywood because mm-hmm. for whatever reason Tyler Perry didn't go there and uh, this guy went there and he's making movies but he's not giving um, and this kind of makes me think about the situation with Monique because everybody was like you know they kind of blackball after you know she didn't go and do what they said that, you know she didn't she didn't go promote the movie because I think she was only paid like 50000 to do precious? to do precious right she did it she did it as a Cause he was a friend. Ella say you don't give up two million on the pillow combo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was something more than a pillow. It was. It, it might have been. It might have been an anti-rape. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> horrible <laughs> man. This is horrible. I gotta give you two million dollars to get this thing no, off. Listen, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Put this up in here. When you get the two million, man, come back. I got the key. Okay. Wow. <laughs> So, what's up, Chad? Yeah. Shalanda? Hey, Shalanda. Man, two million. Hey, Mabel. Oh. That's a lot. Of money. That's a lot of cash, man. I that's a, like, did he write that's a life. That's life. You said that's life. You know, I think it might have, I don't know. Maybe it might have been a bag full of money. Yeah, was it a bag or a credit card or a check? It was given. Mm. Mm. It was given graciously. Mm. Gracefully. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, Dane. Thank you, Damon. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's that. Who was that? Thank Damon? you, Damon. Dad. <laughs> Just now, just a second. I'm going to write you in my script. Look, like, ew. Oh, because he was, he was, he was. Because look. When when he walked up on, I'm like, you know, Dave, boy, he be talking. I'm like, Dave, go here. Dave's like, no, I'm gonna give my money, man. Give my money. Man. Like, pop, give my money, give my money. He was like, okay, listen, I'm gonna give you your money. Just calm down. You know, it, it was really. Oh, hold on. You know what it was? He's just not pressing the issue because they probably did have a love affair and wasn't ah. even silent all of his time. Right. Yeah, and hadn't mm. put him out there because he's open See? to sexuality. Yeah, yeah, nice. And so he, now Dave they is didn't like, know. He didn't know they was being recorded either. No, well, see, I I okay, thought yeah. originally that 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 Damon had Dame somebody had people do that too. come in, yeah, to record them like his their conversation. Yeah, because who's gonna sit, be sitting there? Well, no, we're in today's world. Because yeah, yeah, anybody. You see, you see Damon Dash, you like, oh, look, yeah. Damon Dash. Oh, what they talking about? Oh, yeah. No. Well, hold on. How they, did they get the script though of what they were saying? You can kind of hear it. Oh, I don't hear it. Uh, they might hear it. What you right though, because didn't uh, uh, Monique with Carter uh, conversation with her and Tyler Perry about mm -hmm. So yeah. I think oh. her husband is um, suspect, to be honest with you. Manipulating she, her? She, he's very manipulative. Yeah, I've and heard she's that. And she's in a, a lot of yeah. controversy like, since she's been with him. Yeah. Not only that, well, him, well, well, he a little. Yeah. Man. yeah, anybody cry on camera like that is. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's how she. My, my gaydar just picked up something from him. My gaydar. What is it? What is it? What is she telling? That's my dad. Daddy talked to me. Dad. Dad. She calls him dad. So I don't know. He probably calling her dad behind closed doors. <laughs> What's the same word? Pickles. <laughs> Pickles. I said pickle. Man, what's really going on? We told you it's gonna be fire. Juice. Man, speaking of LA, man, breaking news, man. Don't, don't you talk about it. Breaking news, man. Don't you got a relative that just got traded or something? I just got a relative. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I got a real first of all, I got a relative. Come on, come on. What uh, uh, I got a relative. Man. Biggest, biggest, biggest uh, uh, that was offered 32 million, 36 million, 32, something like that. He turned it down. Well, he, at first he turned it down from Cleveland. Okay. Then, back door. Come on. And go to the LA Lakers. LeBron James is oh, yes. an LA Laker. $152 million. For the record, he said he's cut. I'm his cousin, but LeBron ain't my cousin. Oh! oh. Hey, no. hey, hey, can you give me some tickets to the, you know? No. Okay. Because I don't Run really, I don't really, you, don't really you don't really know him like that. You just put it, maybe he, you know, discover. Maybe we can get him on the show. That's rich. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even That's get my reason. other cousin on there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and we talked to her. Oh, she gonna, she gonna call. Oh, she gonna yeah, man, gotta have faith. But hey, man, hey, you know, my, okay. Here's, here's my thing about right. that. Ellis say he ain't agreed to give him a million and a pair of Jordans, and he could. Man, yeah, <laughs> hey, Jay's. Yeah, that that'll be cool. I'll make a movie happen with that much. Man, hey, speak. We're gonna go back to the drum, but uh. Michael Jordan, uh, apparently, his uh, residence in Chicago, he put it up, uh, well, it actually has been up for about six, seven years. And uh, I think he was asking like 30 million, nobody was getting, I think he dropped it down in half. But if you can afford to buy his home, I think he was giving away a pair of every one of his Jordans that were ever released. And I'm like, for 13 million, can't you just buy my play? But they were hand, so they they came, I, they came with the deal. I'm gonna tell you, I knew LeBron was probably gonna go there when he bought a house. He bought yeah, he, he had bought a house. Yeah, in he Brentwood bought. for like thirty million. Yeah. Shannon Sharp and uh, Skip Bayless was talking. <sighs> Skip say they not gonna win it anyway. Either way it go, they still not gonna win. And Shannon was like, you know, Skip. Are you crazy, Skip? 
He no, said, I, I like Shannon Sharp. I, Shannon I, I Sharp love, I love Shannon because he speaks the truth. But I'm and, with and Skip. Skip instigated. I'm thing. with Skip on this, okay. man. I, he done did all this. Skip, Skip. Skip. He done jump ship from. That's uh, right. That's right. He done jump ship he from gonna, Cleveland that's right. to L.A. and they he still not gonna get them rings. And then and, Ooh, until it happens, little, little Bron. He's not. He's not. But you know, hey. He Skip so let me ask you this. Wherever you want to go. Let, let me let's put this out because uh -huh. the discussion always comes up is LeBron's the greatest. Does he become the greatest if he wins in LA? Because nah, every team he played on would have won a championship. Yeah. If, if he take LA, which haven't been in long the spotlight. Time. Long, in, long time. In years. Yeah, like like decade. A de de decade. Good one. Yeah. Decade and some change. Cause Kobe what 92 now? Oh, no, Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. Kobe still playing. Kobe, Kobe might come out of retirement. <laughs> I mean, he might, he might coach. Kobe needs to play. Hey, Jazz. Maybe, but, you know. Uh, hey, Jazzy. Kobe needs. Kobe, Kobe, he might, he might come back. Boy, that'll be a big old stunt, boy. No, cause you know you got them, them balls, the war balls, son. Huh? They not. Really. No, but I'm just saying they, you know, their ego is pretty big, though. Know? That's it. That's about it. They got their shoes tied tight and with big egos and they scoring nothing. LeBron, they gonna get in the position. See, here's my thing. This is my problem that I have with that. Golden State, they set this model up. Everybody chasing championship. So when you get a person that come in, you give them all that money, you restructure your whole team around and they leave. You know. Now you look silly. Cleveland gonna win what about three games next year? Cleveland ain't even gonna make it to nothing. They ain't gonna even go to practice this year. From Cleveland, yeah. the Lakers. Matter of fact, Kobe. You you right. Kobe might come back and uh and and, and get in the game. I think so. Okay, we'll see. Now you know. Um, oh, uh, Ellis say they play a harder game in the West. They well, do. Yeah, but they got. I mean. When, <laughs> Got all the starters on one. What you know, say? What you say? What you know about basketball? Uh oh. <laughs> you know, don't go, Cynthia. That's right. Uh -oh, that's right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's the uh -oh. thing too about basketball. Uh -oh. You lose me in football. Come on. Basketball. There you yeah. go. Uh oh. <laughs> she just shot a three right there. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. There you go. That was a Steph Curry. Yeah. Hey, but you know, it was some. It was a. Uh, in the news, they were talking Toronto, okay, um, that they, you know, they their head coach they fired him because they lost to Cleveland, uh -huh. and it was some rumors that they were saying they was gonna try to get Master P to coach because when Master P played, he, yeah, he yeah. actually played for Toronto yeah. and bringing them back in there. So you, because the reason why I'm saying this is because you see. These 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 ball players they're hanging out with these celebrities, and the celebrities want to be like the balls. Right. So it's like the perfect merger. So we see what happens, man. Um, yeah. I don't know. What else happened? I mean, they, <clears throat> with this basketball thing, uh, you really can't because it's been they they try to switch it. I mean, the reason why. I think LeBron went. It, it's so politicish, but see, because it's been three people in the playoffs for what four years now. It's been the Rockets, it's been, you know, Golden State, yeah. in the Cleveland. finals. It's been in the finals. It's been Cleveland and, and Golden State the last four yeah. straight years. Yeah. Four, four years. It's kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. So that's why they trying to mix it because back in the day, Lakers and Boston used to do that. Well, see, what's interesting about the Master P, him possibly being a coach because Ice Cube, okay, has a league called the Big Three. And he's been getting, um, I think they like in season two, where he's gotten like retired players and they play pickup games. And it's like, yeah, it's all big, over the country. The Big Three. And it's that, called the Big Three. That, that's doing pretty good. And it's doing pretty good, which shows that a rapper can actually transition mm -hmm. to be a coach. Cause I don't think they've ever had a, a coach to rap. No, nah. you know, like no, he's not thinking. Yeah, so thank God he's LeBron is not thinking. Yeah. We don't want thank him. God, we could. We he, do not want LeBron. He would have messed. He would have messed up. He been harder. Come on, uh, come on.
Come on, brother Zeke. Come on, he. Both you of them. You put LeBron with, with Harden, the, the, the super head fake, and the, and the gorilla slam. It wouldn't have been no stopping Houston, baby. I'm with you, Cynthia. No. I wish he would have came to Houston. And baby. I knew he was. Then I could wear my hat proud. Mm -hmm. I, I knew he wasn't coming to Houston because he wouldn't want to share that spotlight. He didn't want to share the spotlight. Thank you. See, that's just James. no spotlight James. on the basketball court. But see, sure. well, see, that's <laughs> he might win a championship. Like say LeBron came to Houston and that happened, then uh, all those years Harden was trying to get. They they're gonna do him just like they did uh, 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 KD when he went to. Uh, Kevin Durant, when he went there, said, oh, the reason I got it because he was he on went, Superstar. He was on Saint. You know, Kevin Durant went to Golden State. Yeah. But, but Golden State had already won a championship without him, so he piggybacked on an easy ride. He went with a winning team. I mean, but still, look at look at his skills on the team, though. I mean, the dude the dude is unstoppable with his shit. There has no loyalty, is what I'm saying. That's not, you gotta get that money. I'll do it. You but gotta get that money. So, so you, 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 in the back in the day, you could see Michael Jordan playing with the Pistons. Back in the days, it was different. It was they, they, they didn't. The uh, cost of living wasn't this high. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Look, I'm trying to. Cost of living wasn't this high. It's high. What's up, Jimmy? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy. Hmm. Cost of living wasn't this high back then, so. Couple of hundred million, they was cool. They was they was living like living large. So now they need 60, 60 million. million. You know. And a shoe deal. Oh, you gotta have a shoe deal. Got it. Before they even sign, you gotta get a shoe deal. Look at LeVar Ball shoes. Yeah, it's just you ain't nobody. No, what here's the thing. You here's shoe? the thing. You don't even have to be a basketball player to get a shoe deal. Gary V, Gary Vanishoff, this guy who gives just He's on social media, look him up. You gotta shoot it. Well, you ain't nobody unless you gotta shoot it. What do you do? What he does, he buys company, breaks them up, sell them. You gotta shoot Well, I'm about to give me a shoe deal. They'll start talking to you. Silky black tops. You, you, hold on, two things, you need a shoe deal mm -hmm. and a book deal. A book deal, I got a book. A book deal and a shoe deal. Gotta okay. get you in. That's what they want. Who gonna, who gonna help me out with this? I need, I need a shoe deal, baby. Book deal, shoe deal. Where we at? Yo, Sign him up. Uh -huh. I hope he, I hope Master P get it though. Shout out to his brother, man. You know his brother got released from prison. Master P? C murder. Uh, oh, so after he went through that, um, that, um, he didn't eat. What do you call it? Yeah, he went to. No, no. Well, he, he was trying to commit suicide by not eating. I, think, I forgot what they called it. Anorexia? No, no, no. He just, he just, uh, he, did, he, he did the Gundy thing. He just didn't, he starved himself. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but but no, they had um, <clears throat> apparently some evidence that came out to exonerate him. <clears throat> and, uh, Do you know who his brother is? Master P. Nah, nah, nah. He has money. Nah, nah. Yeah. And he nah, probably paid someone nah, nah. to come forth <laughs> to, <laughs> to yeah. say, they got money. you know, <laughs> oh, there's new evidence or there's yeah. something else because he knew his brother was going to end up committing suicide. Well, because check it out, though. In, 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 in prison. Correct. But what I'm saying. But ain't that how the justice system works? Mm -hmm. If you got money. Thank yeah. you. If you ain't got money. Yeah. If you ain't got the money. Thank I'll talk you. to somebody. You're going to do the time. Talk to somebody with the right amount of money. Get him out of there. Mm -hmm. Look look at uh Kim Kardashian. What, what, what she did? She got that lady out of jail. Uh did she get that young girl out? The one she was trying to get out of the girl that ended up killing her. Hell she kinda had went through a hard life, you know, she Yeah, hell she old. Yeah. Right? That, oh that's the old? one that's yeah. the one uh How was she? she was an old lady. That's the one Trump had uh, Oh Jimmy, the, the number is up there. 713-714-7670. Yeah. Call. We we want to hear what, what y'all think about it. Yeah. No, I, I think uh, so. Was that the one Trump had? Uh, yeah, Trump and uh, Kim Kardashian got out, and then he said, "Uh, now nah, he got the support of the black people." Yeah. Yes. Uh, if y'all want, some, if y'all want somebody <laughs> out, write me, and I can get them out. In the words of Candy, the lies. The he lies. still don't have the, the, the support lies. of black people. He will. Well, some, some. Huh. Wow. That was over there. Ah. <laughs> Who else got released? Anybody else got out of jail? Somebody got out of jail today. Somewhere, somebody got out of jail today. Somewhere. I hope. Yeah. yeah. I hope. But you know what though? The whole, the whole, you know, when you start to do your research on the 
the way the you know prison system is set up. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's too big, man, to feel like this day. Uh oh. Oh, you got a call? Sorry. Oh, no, that was that was, that was, that was <laughs> Yeah, it's big. It's big. It's just as big as the hospital business, the mm-hmm. medical. There you go. I was riding through the medical center. They got like McDonald, Ronald McDonald houses. They got another like a skyscraper, and it all like it's all like hotels for the patients' family. Yeah. 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 But but the thing that gets me about when it comes to cancer and AIDS and and diseases that aren't curable mm-hmm. is when um, when doctors and scientists or whoever come up dead or oh. else they're, they're, um, the facilities where they're making all of this you know coming up with a whole cure just somehow end up you know burnt up huh. you know well yeah you, you can't mess with the drug you know but, yeah. but at the same time, you want to be able to cure these people. No, know? I don't think they want to. They know that they don't want. Yeah. That's the thing about it. You get more money. Yeah. Is, is, Keeping is, them sick. Yeah, keep. Let's keep, keep you sick. Let's. Yeah. You have to pay for the medication, the hospital bills, and the insurance. You gotta get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all separate. Now. Yeah. Because if, if you, if y'all, I mean, I know a lot of y'all that's watching this in Houston. If y'all passing through the medical center, look at these apartment type buildings. These are not people that stand close and trying to live close to their job. No. These are hotels and apartment buildings for the patients' families. families. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot of them. It's yeah. ridiculous. And they charging, I don't know if they charging the insurance or yeah. the people, but somebody's paying for it. Probably both. Probably yeah. both. They, I know in the medical center, right next to one of them hospitals, they got these uh, apartments. And like I looked up. These things going for like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. So that's like who can afford to stay here? Maybe the doctor, no. Patient families, patient families. So, man, look at my kid. She just burnt out. She, I think she had a puke or something. No, no she can't. Like like <laughs> What's else out there, man? Cops, Cops. whatever. We don't. We don't. I don't want to keep. Bringing that up, but sure. okay. these people keep. I mean, we talked about the little boy getting the cops called on him about. There's so many, so many of these stories. A guy with uh, these ladies were swimming in the pool. A man comes up and calls the cops on. Him. No, tell them first. He told them they had to get out the pool, and uh, it was some black families. They wasn't together. One black family, another black family. They were at the pool. They was at the pool. So he accused them of having too many guests at the pool. And I was like, I don't know her. Just because we black eyes, he was like, I don't care. So, okay. You need to leave. Because um, they showed up, they all looked alike. Is that what they did? Yes, they did. To him, maybe it was like twenty or whatever. But it, it's just <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. It's just all them stories coming up. So we trying to put something together to where y'all can come out and have fun, relieve some stress. We gonna throw parties and you know we gonna get it. Get it around here. Let, let loose entertainment, baby. There you go. There you go. There you go. Man, so you know when I I just. I don't know, let's say I, I hope. Because you know what? I watched a video of a cop today and the cop was dancing with a woman. Uh-oh. Oh, we got, a, we got a call coming in, y'all. Hold on, hold on. All right. Call from Jimmy Budweiser. Oh, hey, Jimmy, what's going on, man? How me. you doing? You hey. on live. You on talk about live. Y'all, 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 is, is it any way we can talk about LeBron James? Let's talk about LeBron James. What you want to talk about with LeBron James? You gotta be careful what you say. Uh oh. Uh oh. Listen, I'm a long time Lakers fan. Okay. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, my magic Kareem, uh-huh. all the way to Kobe Bryant. When Kobe retired, I'm the to say. Okay. You understand me? I, I know I'm a sellout. 
Whoa, you jump ship? You jumping on the Lakers? Whoa, hey, okay. LeBron did it. KD did it. Uh, uh, that boy from uh, 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 what's his name over there in uh, Oklahoma? Oh yeah. Uh, Indiana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin Durant. No, no, the other one. Uh, oh, you said it went to Kevin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but what is what is that? But what is that doing though to? The lawyer, like yourself, you say you back all the way back with Will Chamberlain fan, you know, diehard Laker fan. I mean, what does that do? You know what it's doing? What? Making these cats get their money. These uh, young black, uh, these young brothers, they, they get, get paid. paid. They get paid. Yeah. Well, well, they get paid. Well, they get paid. Well, they get paid. Well, they get paid. Well, they get ridiculous amounts of money. And it's a, you know, wouldn't you do it? I would. That's what I was saying. I mean, because that's the real loyalty. Because right, uh, everybody right. know when these when these athletes when, when they done with them, they done with them. They don't care. They don't care if you got bad knees. They don't care if your wrist you got wrist problems. They don't care about none of that. They they just looking at do the job while you here, right? And and that's all you get. So now they looking at uh now these these athletes is looking at. I gotta get my money because ain't no telling what kind of shape I'm gonna be in when the game is over. You know what I'm saying? Can I ask? A, can I ask a, one more question? Uh huh. You know, you know, you know Magic Johnson is worth a half a bit, okay? Uh, LeBron and Shaq are right up under him, followed by Kobe. Do you think LeBron is gonna be the next billionaire? Well, you know, right now for basketball, uh, okay. and that's a good question you ask. I think Michael Jordan right now is the only big. They think he got like 1.6 big. Yeah, 1.2. But I don't know if you know this about LeBron. LeBron signed an endorsement deal with Nike. I think it was Nike. Let me not quote it. But it was for like 10 years and it was a billion dollar deal. So I think, you know, branding wise, I mean, he was, he, he he's not making his money from, you know, uh, playing the actual sport. Uh, not like he is from the endorsement deal. Um, but, okay. I mean, you know, for, for him to be in the what they consider the king right now, LA is the mecca, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Hey, Alicia. Yeah, yeah but I mean, my, my, my thing, I was having a discussion with these early folks, I don't know, if he wins in LA, is he the greatest? But I don't think they gonna win though. I'm just saying because Golden State, Golden State still they young. They can't even get past Houston with the recap. Yeah, I gotta agree with you because uh, you know uh, what's the name didn't get hurt. We probably would have took it. Yeah, uh, Chris, yeah, Chris, Chris Paul. Paul. Yeah, Chris Paul got he, hurt. When the guy hurt, I would have took it. Yeah, did y'all hear? Him? Him? Did y'all hear about him? Who? Houston oh. gave him that check. Yeah, <laughs> but then they lost. They lost a reason though. But you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's his grand, his, that's his godchildren, LeBron James, kids, his boys, and Chris Paul, and his godchildren. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's his, that's his godson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Follow him all the time. He, he goes to all the games. So I thought for sure he was coming to Houston based on that. Right. I thought so too, but they, you know, like we were saying earlier. Did Houston really need him though? Houston needs something. Cause they do the same thing every yeah. year. Every year they you get would. your hopes up. You be like, come on, Houston. Come on. You how you go 18 something games straight undefeated and then don't win the uh playoff. Don't win the, the ring. Get well the they, they had two shots in two games. They had big leads and they lost it. But I'm just saying, when you look at Golden State, you got what Steph Curry, you got KD, you got uh, Collar. Uh, I mean, you got you know, any other team, three or four guys that could be the starter, anyone else. Right. Basically, what you're right. building is an all star or like a Olympic team, a super yeah, like a super team. team. Yeah. And they, it's, it's killing, it's for me, okay, I, I hear what you're saying. The Olympics brothers get paid. But if you're a fan of the sport, that's killing it because, you know, then, 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 then the kid would just tell him, hey, but we branch, that's brand chasing. But still, that's that's just like, 
if, if, if they go with the team they want to go with, you don't have really have a choice. You can't say, you can't go get that money. You need to be loyal to me. I'm the fan. You can't tell them. You can't tell them that, but is it going to matter? Well, man, these guys are, uh, they, they, they make competitive. Yeah. They want they all are. kids. And yeah. they want to win. So the, 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 uh, the goal is to beat Golden State. Right. Uh, that, they you have to build a team to beat Golden State. They the team to beat right now. Just like back in the days, it used to be the Lakers. If Houston go against them and everybody else, I think they yeah. take them. Yeah. If Houston healthy and they take them with play them next year, I think they If take Houston them. stop cracking under pressure, they can yes, win. Yes, I totally agree. I so totally wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if we have a, if they get rid of uh Harden won the MVP though. Light like, like skinned uh white dude. They uh, they'll have some cap for another good player. Hey, my love muffin. Well, look, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm, I'm cooking. Hey, man, appreciate you for calling. All right, y'all have a good night. What do you say, Demarcus? All right, hey, hey, you be good, Jimmy. All right, good. What's up, Jeremiah? Hey, Jeremiah. Uh, Cedric say Demarcus Cousins just signed another ring next year. Who he signed with? The Warriors. The what? Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> They re it up. They re it up. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. Say, man. You know, it's going to be the same. It's going to be, it might, next year, NBA playoffs, it might be. Uh oh, hold on. Uh oh, hold on. We got uh -oh. a call coming. Oh, that's my sweetheart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Call from. Hey. hey, young man. You hey. live. Don't talk up. This is Silky Black. What you got for us? And I I I to the that war is on I was late on the screen, but I see I'm talking that war is get the the over there and not the war too. Like you just you just let us know, man. Yeah. We just read the thing. Certified. Championship on the show. I was just too, so I was gonna be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. What team did he come from? What? What? Uh, he, got, he got with the Pelicans. Yeah. Uh, he got the Pelicans last year. You know? Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, what you think about this LeBron James shaking up the NBA? Is, is he going to do well, something in LA? Or? Man, I'm feeling like this. Lakers is really my team, you know what I mean? Oh, there so we I go. Oh, there we go. go. You you need know, that, hold on, hold on. That jersey, where that jersey? Hold on. <laughs> Let me finish, let me finish. I, hey, I don't really like these LeBron moves, you feel me? Because, hey, all these years have been going against LeBron, I don't really know how to step on my team. Today, I traded for two eight-round picks, you feel me? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, hey, but he, he, he has a proven record everywhere he goes. <laughs> wait a minute, man. See, a championship you, follows. Wait, you are a Lakers fan. Let me tell you why. Because why would, you know, y'all know LeBron, Le, LeBron is great. Y'all know this young boy yeah. is a great basketball like player, a team right, leader, right, a team right. player, all of that. He's a good husband. He got a. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know about that. Yeah, all, all what happened now? <laughs> 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 yeah. And when the brother can't finish the game, man, the brother can't finish the game. The brother can't make free throws with other questions. Yeah. I don't know that, you feel me? Yeah. See, my thing, my thing with well, you. Go ahead. No, I was just. I'm happy you gave me. No, I was just saying my thing with the LeBron James. Any kind of major deal from any player. I mean, all props to them. They get their money. But when they leave, what what is the team left with? Like you know, the fans are supposed to hold the team up. Man, yeah, these yeah, fans yeah. want to win. <laughs> these fans want to win. Yeah, but everybody, everybody, LeBron fan. Hey, you supposed to, you supposed to be a team. You stick with the team, not everybody gonna be a Lakers fan now. You know. Let, let me tell you something, young man. Now, I yes. I live in Houston, right? And I'm trying, I'm trying for years to be a Houston Rockets fan. They won't let me be yeah. a fan because they can't win the game. <laughs> And I'm trying to be a fan. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the number one fan. I they they won't let me, man. When it counts. Yeah. When it counts. Well, 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 hey, you just got me hard, bro. 
Indeed. Yeah, I'm cousins over there. They just got a little harder, so. And Ryder had their chance last year, and they slipped. Yeah, they did. Because, like, like we were saying, they won all them games straight during the season. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, oh, Rockets, they, they you know, Rockets, Rockets going to take it. They got to the playoffs. And mm -hmm. had the best record. Had home field. Uh, yeah, had the best. Yeah, they had home court and everything. Yeah. Then, then in the playoffs. Yeah, then in the playoffs, yeah, the playoffs they're going to play, play the game with their shoes untied. You ain't going to win like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, come on. Nah, man. but ain't a good little kid, though. Yeah, I wish all the Houston fans good luck on that year. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 appreciate yeah. it. We're gonna need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I go, yeah. yeah. Wish me luck, sir. Wore my Houston hat again. My Rockets hat. I thought you burned it. Did you burn it? Hey, but hey, if y'all want to, I'm gonna tell you the hard job, y'all. Okay, okay. You're you, you, you a LeBron fan. No, actually, when you share the last name, I think that's my cousin. Someone, I don't know. Someone down the line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, you Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But thank you. Uh, for, thank you. Thought, I thought I to with you, bro. Appreciate you coming on. Yeah, thanks for calling, young man. Thanks for calling, honey. Love nah. you. Well, yeah, look, what are you calling All right. for? I'm going to let y'all Louisiana. Oh, we got Louisiana yeah. in the house. Y'all know that. To the Louisiana. Yeah. The boo is in the building. We live, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, y'all want to live. Yeah, y'all want to live. Yeah, All right, thank you for calling. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that basketball. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have a good one, bro. Hey, All you right, too. Take it easy. All right. See, now, them, them Laker fans, they do be representing hard. See, now, now, that's a Laker fan. When you call and you know that somebody you don't like is on your team, you just go ahead and say it. Man, I don't like this dude. Don't get like him it. off my team. Yeah, get him off my team. I don't like <laughs> the, don't fan, like the fans hold it down, Zach. Say, that's what I was trying to say, Zach. Yeah. The fans hold it down. Now, if, uh, if Brady... Man, Brady... <laughs> if Brady left, man... <laughs> I mean, it would be. Nah, but you know, I'm boycotting this football season. Uh -oh. man. I'm, I'm supporting uh -oh. Kaepernick. But yeah, but if, if Brady left, man, that would be. Yeah, I was a Brady fan back when Brady, before he started up. Uh, he had started winning a little bit, but he didn't do all the stuff he did. I mean, that's that's the thing now. People go, they don't stay with the same team. They, I don't know. They say if you're from there, you're supposed to rep till you win. Philadelphia took them a long time in the Super Bowl. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they die hard fans, but, you know. They they are die hard in, in Philadelphia. They, yeah. Man, they, what's, what's, what's going on with the, uh, I, ain't, I ain't even watched the World Cup. Does anybody, y'all know what's going on who wins? Yeah. Soccer? Yeah, the Soccer World Cup. Is Barcelona in it? Not enough. Barcelona. I think Barcelona is just like a super team, but like, I think like Messi, he uh, plays for our team. I got yeah. I got a friend. Uh, I want to go to soccer game. Have y'all been to soccer game? Well, that's what I'm finna say. I got oh, okay. a friend that's a, uh, his son. He's a little kid, man. He's a really good soccer player. And this dude said he picked up soccer on his own. I was like, man, that's pretty good to get him in soccer. He was like, no, I didn't do it. He I, said, I wanted to play baseball. So. Oh, okay. The little kid wanted to play soccer, and he's really good. Abdul. If you watching, man, call and talk up, talk, talk up on your son, man. man. You know what I like about it? It's like when you watch the fans, but it's just they, nah. Oh, soccer, soccer fans, soccer. Loyal. Oh, yeah. loyalty, oh yeah, loyalty, loyal, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, <laughs> in their DNA, man. Yeah. Um, because I was, I think it was uh, the last one, uh, Brazil. It was in Brazil, the World Cup. They lost to I think Germany. Then like people was. Crying, they were burning jerseys. Yeah, people were flipping cars over. And, and, and if they'd have won, they were like, "This was the best day of my life ever." Yes. And I was like, "Man, you got real thing." Well, see, but you gotta think about it though. We we here, yeah, we we, we kind of spoiled here. We got you know, turn the channel, do this and this. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do this, we do this. But damn, that's all we got. Yeah, and they and those soccer soccer players, they support a lot of people with they money they get. Okay. So, yeah. and not just that, they in the community, they doing stuff. Hey, Tony, they in the community, they mm -hmm. doing stuff, and you know, they they representing for they people and they team and they real, 
Role models. Yeah. They like real role models. They like, they kind of like the, when you saw a boat went back to Jamaica, like you were. Right. You were spokesman for the whole country or something. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. They had they had Hussein Bolt all on uh, Luke Cage. Oh, well, he wasn't on it. They were just talking about it. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I was a Hussein Bolt fan. That dude was just, yeah, me too. Yeah, that dude was just he's just a special human being, man. Yeah. yeah. When he we, when he just he he got the swag, man. He's like he got the swag. It's just and I think it. I don't know if it's the the roots that connect us to Africa, but every once in a while. You see uh, one of us doing something great, like Serena. Serena got the swag. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. You, you, you still ain't mad at Serena. I am. Oh, from going to the other side. The other side. <laughs> but the other side was a billion dollars, though. Uh, you yeah. know what? Just, you know. She, she, got, she got more than him, though. So it was, it was nah, so I don't think she got a billion. Yeah. She probably no, she got more than him. He don't have that much. She, she, she make more than him. Oh, uh oh, am I wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> you got some, I don't know. I know you, he had a billion without, so whatever she got, they probably got, I, yeah, I they probably got a couple billion. Well, or I'm so. gonna say this just like Childish, is it Childish Gambino? Daddy he, love. He's tried with black women, she's Man. tried with black guys. Who, oh, who he tried with? Quite a few women. Um. <laughs> What do y'all think about Childish Gambino? Is he really? This is, is America. He, is he, I love him. Is he? Uh, but I've it's heard artist. that people say that he's more, ex, you know, uh, what is the word? Uh, exploited. Childish. childish. <laughs> he's, he's a little childish. He stopped being so damn childish. Yeah, yeah he, he's exploiting. But I mean, you know, like kind of like how Bruno Mars with with his album. Uh, but his was different because he was he wasn't black. He's but, saying something though. You know, like I love Childish Gambino. But he's like, doing a lot though. That guy's a, he's a writer, an actor, a producer. Yes. I can't kind of hate him because he's a black man getting paid. Yes. Yeah, he getting yeah, that right. He's doing a lot and, of stuff and, too. And, yeah. I'm just saying, but you know, Star Wars, man. You know, you got to go to the director's chair to get on that. So hold on. You, so you trying to say he did some? Some? He's he, in the he getting somebody booty. He's in the elite. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> really I think it's, you know, word of mouth, you know, connections, networking, things like that. Because his work speaks his work speaks for itself. Like so, he had that show, wasn't it um, HBO? Uh, and now, ATL? Oh, you're talking about before that. Was it ATL? ATL is his show, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, one. ATL. You yeah. know, he didn't he have a lot to do with production on that? Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. He was the writer, so, actor, prior to director. Yeah. Star Wars, he had this going on, you know? So, the, the, the video, This Is a Miracle, what, what do you take from it? Love it. You love it? Love it. Love it, huh? Let me tell you what it's about. Okay? Go ahead. So, so I have to take that real deep. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is America. It, it was about, this is actually how they look at America. Yeah. It was like a mirror. It's almost like a mirror held up in America's face. Mm. Because while he's dancing and rapping, it's all this stuff going on in yeah. the background. Yeah. Yeah. Like nobody's really, nobody's, like, nobody's really going on in the background. Like a and music I, video yeah. or something going on in the back and dancing. Okay. Yeah. Police shooting the Relative. death. The death riding in on the white horse, taking people out. And wait a minute, I see that. Even when he was like, "We're so pretty." Oh, yeah. We're gonna get them. Like he's saying, America is looking, it's pretty, but really, they're saying we're gonna get them. You know, like right. there, there's something, everything that he's saying, every clip, I absolutely love the song, I love the video, and it is just what America's about. It is. But he it did really another is. Song. He did an amazing job with What was that other song? Was it Roots? Red Bone? Red Bone. Okay, yeah, Red Stay Bone. Stay Yeah. Stay Yeah. yeah. So he loved that one too. He's a, he's so I'm he's a representing the conscious. He's the conscious. So he may have a, a white wife, but he's still speaking for but us. But see, sometimes you gotta use the tools you are given to give the right message out. And if that takes no, you no, getting the white wife, no, no, no. get a white wife. No, yeah, you gotta get a white wife. We yeah, were trapping. Exactly. We were trapping that. We, yeah, right. We're sorry. I'm not going to read it. But I'm yeah. just saying, him. Yeah, him. If you. we use them tools to get the message across, I think and it's a white, white. I think 
the, the, that's overshadowed. Maybe, maybe they in love, but that's what always get blowed up. That's she's what, not white. She's Korean. But, oh. it, but, but here's the thing. But oh. that's America. When you stay woke, when you when you black and you successful, they don't talk about your success. They talk about oh, you have a uh, you know white wife or a Korean I, he, wife. He can't tell me nothing. He got a white wife. Yeah. He can tell you something. Yeah, because even although you may have a white spouse, you are still this, and you still have to live. Well, and your children too. Your children gonna be yeah, because we are very dominant. No matter what you mix us with, we are. We eat. You gotta say that. Just like, just like spices in the gumbo, baby. There's a bunch of stuff in there, but you still don't taste the spices. It's gonna come out. (laughs) Hello and goodbye. (laughs) (laughs) Now I want some gumbo. I know they shoot. (laughs) Mix the root. (laughs) Sir, the (laughs) gifts. The roux is the main ingredients of the gumbo, baby. Can't roux. So, man, we didn't get here talking about We talk politics, man. Yeah. Oh! We talk politics, yeah. You, you, what, what you got for us? Well, I, 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 I was just, it's, well, you know. You what know, you got, brother? Well, I got to talk about my girl, man, Maxine Watt. Maxine Watt! Maxine Man, she got up and basically called the president out. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, when I say they, I'm talking about people who were critical of her, even the, uh, Trump. Say that. Uh, he basically, you know, called her some kind of derogatory name. Like he always do. Like he always do. But she didn't back down. She didn't back down. And what's interesting in that is that after they, uh, you know, attacked the the people that were coming to her telling her, hey, you know, kind of calm down was the Democrats. Like, come on, where are the leaders Where are the back in it? Where and, the and, and they got these other, other people coming up and giving a death threats. Uh, we gonna shoot you. She said, if you shoot at me, oh, yeah. you better shoot straight. I said, get them, Max. Oh. Yeah, if you shoot at me, you better, you better yeah. shoot straight. You better shoot. That's a G move right there. That's a G move. She ain't worried. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't worried about them. them uh, she says, one of the things I recognize being an elected official is the final analysis leadership will do anything that they think is necessary to protect their leadership. And so I don't focus on them. She basically said, the truth is going to be her shield. Mm-hmm. And if you attack me, you better come with it. Better come on. And if you right. shoot, you better hope I don't get to my gun first. Ooh. That's what she said. Come on, Maxine. That's what she said. Show them what it fuck, what it do. And you know, she actually, uh, this was, uh, I saw her do something with T.I. Um, they had, T.I., you know, T.I. is taking that role where he's becoming a, kind of like a civic leader. Like, he's still doing his rapping and stuff, but um, he sat out with her. Matter of fact, if y'all got Netflix, it's a, Episode on there. It's it's a it's a, it's a uh, I think it's called kind of rap rapture or something. In each episode, oh, they yeah. talking to a different rapper. Well, in the episode with Ti, Ti actually was going around. He got with Harry Belafonte. He had mm-hmm. got with all these uh, civil rights leaders back in the day who swore to do it. And he picked up the torch and one. He had sat out with Maxine Waters because he wanted to pick their brand. To know what they know and see. Hip hop, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna be the bridge. That's the new civil rights, I think, man, because they the poets now. They the ones Some of them. Oh, yeah, some of them. Some of them be my man. Some of them just out here wilder. Dressed yeah. like girls. Yeah, well, that's what gets you on. Oh. If you dress like a girl, you're more likely to get played. Mm. Yeah, so. So after that, do you switch it what up? What you trying or? to get on if you dress like girl? Oh, but what you trying, trying to get out? You trying to get some of that Damon Dash money? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> they gonna they gonna be one of the rape. Oh, oh one of them rape kids. Booty rape kids. Oh, oh man, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go to Google YouTube. It. No, go to YouTube and watch the re- the uh, the whole show. <laughs> it's gonna be on YouTube. Yeah, but I mean, you know. I hope they support. You know, they start talking about all these uh, uh, 
uh, these families getting separated. You know the one thing they're not talking about? When they're talking about that, okay, because they show the, the Hispanics, but they're not showing the Haitians and the Dominicans and the Africans. They're not showing it because, Let you know, race up. can get attached to it. But you know why they're not showing it? Why they showing, why they showing this group over here? Oh no, look at this group. Why they doing this to this group? Yeah. You know, yeah. all the tension over here, why they just dogging these Dominicans and Haitians and, yeah. and African immigrants over here. Yeah. Those are the real casualties of war. Of war. Yeah. And <clears throat> nothing, nothing against the Hispanics. They getting it too, but we don't we don't see we don't see this over here. Yeah. But if, if you look deep, you'll hear about it. Look at look at how long uh, the uh, the slave what it was in Libya. Yeah. The, uh, they were torturing them guys and selling them for slavery over there, and everybody just kind of overlooked them like, oh well. Yeah. But soon as soon as some little uh, um, soon as some people get taken from their families. And stuff. Oh my God! Because they always got somebody. Because the the guys that was in slavery getting traded and stuff. Those are black people. No one no one cares. No one cares. Well, I mean to be fair, what, what it really is is when it's exposed and somebody white comes and says this is wrong, then it gets the exposure, mm. which is sad because when we see it, it uh, means nothing. It, it, Absolutely. The voice, nothing. yeah, it, it just doesn't care the same way. You, you, I mean, I don't even know if Oprah did. Oprah don't want, Oprah getting spoon fed by the, uh, big wig. She ain't gonna do She's nothing. She's too, too busy on her show. She's too busy. And things like, you get a car, you get a car. Like, yeah. she's too busy. Like, her, she's not going to give it to anything controversial like that because well, her fan base. Yeah, yeah. She has big. a global base. In yeah. Well, very, very global, very nationwide, but mostly this. Yeah, mostly. And so she's not going to give it because that's the purpose of her coins. Right. The, because, and they, believe me, y'all say Oprah got a lot of money. They got people giving her money, writing her shit. And she got a little something. Don't get me wrong. But once they... If, if, if they step up and cut her off, she's gonna be like, oh no, yeah. I'm sorry. Bill Cosby. Oh. oh. Is Bill, Bill still with us, huh? Wow. What is weird? Like, with us, like he's still alive. Like, oh. Oh, Zach. Yeah. No. I thought you said, with us. I mean, they thing? killed him in every other part. <laughs> they <laughs> sure did. <laughs> I mean, they, ah. just, they just took everything, man. I mean, Dr. Heathcliff fucks the ball. <laughs> At the pop pudding, 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 pop pudding. Yeah, he was putting his a pop in the pudding. He was putting something in the pudding. They should have had that uh, put some red device. Oh, 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 oh. When he he oh, oh. stuck his carrot in that hole. Oh man. He would have gripped him like oh, he would be like, oh, oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. <laughs> yeah, I'm about that there. He's not talking to the. Oh man. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, yes, <laughs> you ain't getting raped today! Yeah. <laughs> the, fat, the, the fat out of The fat out of rape kit! <laughs> the fat out of rape kit! Oh! But man. again, but again, you have to fit it. You have to what? You have to fit it. You, have to, yes. you can't fit it, it must have been quick. Must have been quick. Yeah, because the hole was about this big, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See how you know, I'm talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Now this probably got stuck. <laughs> now you ain't you ain't going away anyway. <laughs> ah, man. We're gonna give you extra couple minutes to run. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. It was. What, I, what, what, but what was? But I think the whole point about that what got me was that they said once you got caught with it. You could only go to a licensed person that had experience with removing it. Like, well, come on. From looking man. at it, it was very flexible. Yeah. Still Just saying. And if they were, you can, yeah. it's gonna hurt. Then you don't really have to do all of that. As soon as pain it's a, hits, it's a penis. It's gonna shrink. <laughs> I hope. I mean. I don't know. But some people may be on that field. They still may not be able to pull out. You know? Oh, what? Let's say that again. And some people may experience shrinkage and not still may not be able to pull out. You know? <laughs> like, 
you know. I'm gonna just bless you like that, you know. Is that a blessing or is that a curse for some women? Curse. <laughs> oh, curse. I mean, if it's too, anyway, that's the whole thing. Okay. You put the pudding in the pudding pop. <laughs> pop something. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, pop. Yeah. Uh, we got a special guest we're supposed to call mm -hmm. in, y'all. You want to uh, try to call her? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to call her. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell her who it is. It's my cousin I just met. And she's an opera singer. And uh, she, the time zone is, is behind. Okay. Right. It's behind us, and uh, yeah. over there is what? What time is it now? Six forty-five. So it's seven forty-five. We just can't get the sound. I don't know what time it is over there. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, it's over there. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I'm gonna try to give her a call and see if she answers. Couple fights. He probably know. He probably got. He probably can fight. Or at yeah, least he. Yeah, he's but pretty, he's got to jump too. He probably have, but I'm, that's just part of the territory. Some guys walk away. They don't want it. Right. You because know. he's so intimidating. He's intimidating the way he come. Yeah. He, he don't be no smiles. He don't break yeah. character. Nah. He focused. Yeah. He like the young version, Mr. T. Mm -hmm. But the angry version. I don't. Yeah. Know. Mr. He, T he was like, I pity the fool. Pity the fool. Don't do that. Go to school. Yeah. Yeah. He like, you know, just straight up. Just he should straight. stop though because he's, that, that's I really couple, dangerous. I think a couple that's times. That's really dangerous though. Like he stays a number if he don't stop that. No, like just, not stop. just for social media. It's just very entertaining. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Who top does, no. Who, who does that though? Like who does think to just randomly be disrespectful? Yeah. That's, that's not. What, he's disrespect on the very, highest level. Yes. yes. I love it. <laughs> Shout out to him. I'm Tyrone, man. I think the smoking is bad for you. Yeah. Look at his fake, he said, look at his fake Lloyd Banks. He's like, who are you? He knocked his eggs out of his hand. No, no. The funniest <laughs> one was a, was a white guy. It was the last one. Oh my God. He was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was the face he gave. Yeah. Like, he was. I don't know what happened when you said Carl Tyrone it triggered me. Did you see when phone. those group of guys jumped him though and the camera clip went off? Oh yeah. 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 Which yeah. one? The one where the cameraman had to turn into a fighter too. And he, I, then he slapped the cigarette and then he... And they charged him. Yeah. yeah. All his goons. But you just think about <laughs> it. All he does, he says the same thing. He can go anywhere. He just finds somebody randomly smoking a cigarette. By the time he says his name, they're trying to figure out who he is. Yeah, like, why is he? When they, when, when they didn't like figure that, well, maybe he talked, he didn't slap something out of there. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it's, it's a whole shock factor on him. Yeah. It's like, saying. wait, I can't believe. Well, first of all, it's like, okay, who is he talking to? And why is he right here? Oh, he just slapped something out of my hand. Oh, I'm going to get him. It's yeah. like, yeah. He, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. You don't know what to do, and to me, it's, it's funny. I love it. It's entertaining, but I just let you know the kind. Of, it's very dangerous. The era we in, you know, so. 
Yeah, shout out to Tyrone. Yeah. Call in. <laughs> Call in, Tyrone. Tell us why you do it. Yeah. I'm Tyrone. And I ain't on your talk show, just be on your talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> No, actually, we probably record and just play it every, every show. Just to. Yeah. Oh, like. Call in, Tyrone. I'm Tyrone. <laughs> and just, you know. Matter of fact, I was trying to hook this up to that, but I didn't know what screen was we were going to be watching. So I didn't. This week. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, we got a program that uh, we got a program that is going to show you what we're talking about when we're talking about it. But I got to get it to working right. It ain't working right right now. So we don't get it working right. We don't get it working. So you got the little bit. We, we can do it. We can do it live. Yep. While we do, we can do it live. Okay. But I'm gonna have to switch from Facebook. So y'all gonna have to follow me from Facebook to to YouTube. And but what what'll happen? I will go live on Facebook a little bit and tell everybody to go to YouTube. And y'all gonna have to subscribe and everything. And then it's gonna be live. It's gonna be real nice, real nice. It's yeah. gonna be live, baby. It's gonna be live. It's gonna be live. Hmm. But. Uh, cool. Yeah. So I was waiting for my cousin. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's mine. That's my phone. <laughs> I get so excited because I just wanted to hear. I thought oh, she yeah. might bless us singing or something. She is. Uh-huh. Now, you want me to come down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, what did you say? What did you, what, what you say? Ah, we were she got the phone going, then she missed it. Oh, oh, uh, we got some birthdays out there. Um, Connie' birthday is tomorrow. She's a uh, she's a she's a follower of the show. Uh, who else? Happy birthday, Connie! Happy birthday, uh, Vanessa Hart. Mm, uh, happy birthday! Birthdays coming up. Uh, who else? Who else? Yes. All my July. Oh, Ramona's birthday was yesterday. Mm. Happy late belated birthday. Bridget's birthday coming up. All right. All right. Uh, who else a kid? Kathy birthday coming up. A new birthday coming up. Wait a minute. Are you want you want to do a birthday a tribute to him? I'm gonna do a birthday song. Y'all wrote, <clears throat> wrote a song about it. Going, going. We wrote a song about it. Like here, here go. Happy birthday to you. Okay, this. No. No. We got five more minutes, y'all. Oh, and it's gonna be so much fun Saturday. Yes, yeah, talk about Saturday. Saturday, Saturday we have the Fourth of July slash family reunion gathering in Springfield, Louisiana, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be like so much fun. I'm excited. We're gonna have a family reunion and some time, and yeah, this is something like good old fashioned, good old funky family reunion time. You know? Is the drone going? I, I'm gonna actually bring the drone. and uh, we're gonna be actually we're gonna be outside. We're gonna be doing sack races, watermelon eating contest. Really? You know, I'm going to win that one. Yeah. <laughs> if it's seedless, I got you. No, sir. I, I need the seeds. I like the seeds getting stuck in my nose, so I shoot them out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, we're going to do like a little water slide thingy. Oh, we're going to do that? Yeah. Oh, no. slip slide. Oh, yeah. They got big enough plastic for that? What you mean? I mean it's gonna be a big piece of pie. What'd you t- what'd you think? Oh, oh <laughs> Peter, come on, yeah. No, I'm talking about because I seen one. Oh, yeah, I when they were like thing. taking shots and stuff. Like, yeah, and it was yeah, a yeah, large piece of plastic. Where y'all where y'all gonna get that plastic from? Uh-huh. Somebody will get it. Oh you know what? We can take it. Get the big plastic bag and take it. Hey, it's the. <laughs> 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 
plastic bag. You know what? They have industrial plastic like that. Oh. And we can get some from Home Depot. Oh, okay. See, I don't know anything or about it. Or something like that. But a roll of it. Yeah, get a roll of it and kind of roll one big roll down. And, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, we can do that then. See, but you gotta have. I don't know about that in the country. You be the one of one of them sticks and stab yourself to death. Oh. <laughs> True. You gotta be on some smooth grass. Yeah. You gonna be under all them sticks. Well, that's a rip, Huh? What's up? What's behind it? It's behind it. What's behind it? Next. Bunch of three. No, I'm saying like, is that like some a body of water like that? No, that's a camel. That's a camel right there. What's up, Amari? Hey, Amari. <laughs> Just had a birthday. What last was it last week? Or? June 27th. Oh, happy belated birthday. Happy belated. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm the man with the plan, with the rock, with the kitchen, with the cat, 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 cat. That's the one. What's up? What's up? Uh. You going to the family reunion this weekend in Louisiana? No? Yes? Oh, it's a, it's a delay. Mm. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, you got to have a smooth ground to do that because something can stick you real good. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be good at all. Um, we're going to figure something out. It's going to be fun. Because, you know, you got the little flimsy shorts off and you slide across there on your stomach. You said on the oh. stomach, right? And Don't say that. You come across some twigs like this, like a, a, a slingshot, your nuts get caught yeah, in there. Anti rape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a homemade oh version. I'm sorry. Your man. nuts get caught right in there. Oh. And it'll shoot you black like a slingshot. Oh. You'll be walking around so. nutless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Bill Cosby with peanut butter in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, y'all. Here to do it, though. You had to do it. Oh, I said you had to do it. Yeah, I had to do it. I'm sorry. Is that a question? Like, so what are we going to do? Like, it's going to be a 25 minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the activities and all the, you know, the lean back and all that. It's going to be in the back. They have a big. Oh, he, he can't go. He got to renew his license. Why are you going to do that a long term? Mm -hmm. You knew your birthday was coming. Mm -hmm. You can't renew before. It's time, you know that, man. Online. Aww. Yeah, you can do it online. Especially with your license. Now, with my license, I'd probably care too. <laughs> no, I got a I got a card person. It's hard. But anyway, I think she's gonna call us seven. I mean, we got y'all wanna wait a little bit more since you yeah, know. Call if she will wait a little bit. Yeah. But but once again, uh, Rodney Sullivan sells trap water at Sunshine Vegan Restaurant. Delicious, healthy, mm -hmm. something you would need to put in your body. Check this guy out, man. Is that, is that the only location he has his water at? I think so, right now. Right now, okay. okay. And I think he got, uh, oh, his Instagram. He got his Instagram handles on here. Uh, IG at Oxy Oxywater O N O N Y X W A Oh We got a guest calling y'all Hold up Hold up Call from Hello Hello Hey, young lady, you on live with Silky Black on Show Talk Up. How you doing? Where are you? Are you in, are you in traffic? I'm, I'm driving. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I know, me too. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> thank, thank you for calling. Yeah. I know. I thought y'all was a hitter. Huh? No, it's just thinking about the call. Yeah. So, okay, if y'all don't know, this is my new cousin. Her name is Ebony. 
and she is an opera singer, y'all. Wow. When I heard awesome. it, when I heard it, I almost had the Holy Ghost, y'all. So Ebony, we got some que- we got some questions for you, and uh, I mean you can answer it to the best of your ability if you really want to. If not, you can say, "Boy, shut up." <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, first of all, how you doing? I'm good. I just want to learn. That's good. So, okay, first question is, how did you get started doing opera? Yeah. That's the question. Uh, I actually started, I first started something. I uh, started piano first. I had my parents, piano lessons, my mom took piano lessons, and I was doing it on her lessons. Uh-huh. Is the window, is, is she has a window down or something? Was like, is the window? We're trying to hear you, is it, is it a window? No, it's a lot of wind noise. It's a said. wind noise, okay. She said, she, oh. No, it's okay. We're just trying to eat. Oh, okay, yeah. Why don't you be safe? Yeah, she said that she started with piano. She didn't start with opera first. Ah, okay. She started on the piano. Now, that piano, was you classically trained? Or how did it? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I studied in music. Awesome. Oh. Um, with Miss Eleanor Bones. Uh, I think she's still teaching now, but I started on Paramount 5. Uh huh. And I stayed um, until high school, and then I went to college, and got some piano lessons in college as well. Um, but I just started thinking until so my first junior year in high school, I, I decided I wanted to get to the choir, and I'm pretty introverted, not person, so I wasn't singing in front of people. Uh, or even speaking with people. So my parents thought it was kind of crazy that I wanted to say choir, but I, I wanted to sing, I just didn't know if I could sing. Oh. So I did. <laughs> uh-huh. No, go ahead. Oh, so I just did, and then my piano, I mean, my uh, choir teacher, she was like, Oh, you need to go to college for singing. She said, um, if I wanted to go for education, then I should go for piano. But if I wanted to go for performance, I should go for singing. And I said, oh, okay, that's interesting. I haven't sang long enough. Um, but she uh, is the one who advised me. Her name is uh, uh, Kamala Ron. Um, but yeah, that's how I pretty much got started. When I got into college, my first voice teacher was like, um, I think you should go for the for this. And then it kind of went from there. So you're saying the, the very first time you started doing opera, you were in college? Yes. So how did, did you know you had an opera voice? Or did you try it and, and then you just liked it? Or, I, I mean, that's. I just, I just, I just have any idea. When I grew up, you know, you hear some of the opera snippets, like on um, commercials and stuff. Uh-huh. You hear the same opera song. And I always loved listening to that, but I never got into opera. I didn't know it. Um, I grew up on, you know, R&B and pop and stuff like that. And so I didn't really go up with that. And I didn't know I had an opera voice until my choir was and that's why she told me to go to college for it. Okay, now, when I heard you sing in opera for the first time, you were singing in a different language. What language was that, and how did you learn that? So the first song is called, um, It's Italian, and then I learned that it's from an Italian opera called uh, Adriana Vesuga, which is actually about... (laughs) Uh, it's based in France, even though it's good in Italian. And when I went to school for music, they teach you how to speak 
and learn these different languages. So we have so called diction classes. And they just tell us um, and show us how to write and how to speak all these different languages correctly. So when we sing them, um, you know, in Europe or in other places where that language is the native language, then the audience can understand us. That is amazing. So I just took years of that. Wow. Oh, thank you. That is really, really amazing. It is. <laughs> wow. And so, okay, I know, well, a lot of people don't know, but you are calling from Vegas. Uh, did How long did you live in Houston? My whole life. I, I didn't move to Vegas until four years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was born in Vegas, but I moved to Vegas when I was four. Are you using opera? Uh, to do shows in Vegas or what? Yes, right now I'm singing with a non-profit company um, called Boca Rica International. Oh. Uh, I sang with them for about two years. And um, it's been awesome. We got to sing at the end a variety of other shows. You did some things where? Uh, at the MGM on the strip. Oh, MGM. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, it's been nice being with them. Yeah, I, uh, we got another cousin down there. He he didn't get a chance to make it to the family reunion, but he lives at, in Vegas. I didn't know I had right, all these cousins. Nathan, right? Yeah, Nathan Powell. And uh, okay, so with this amazing voice, um. Do you do, do you, did you ever try to do any like those competitions, like The Voice or, uh, or American Idol or America's Got Talent? Because I don't know. Yeah. Y- yes. yes. Have, you, have you ever tried that? I actually auditioned for America's Got Talent, I think, last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't get it. Um, I think I auditioned for Voice for the first time. And I think for them, and uh, the other people that were auditioning thought it was great, but I didn't go through. So I think they needed um, a bigger software. I, I think I think so, cause I I auditioned <laughs> for a couple of those things, and when I went, they I don't I sing okay, but they had some people that was that was singing like amazing, and they they turned them people down. Yeah, it's, it's a formula, unfortunately. Right. So, you know, you have to have a great story of some sort, or that, or you have to be really terrible that it's funny so they can yeah. you know, build the song up and stuff. So they can laugh at it. So it's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but yeah. Okay, so um, with, with this super amazing voice, how do you keep it up? What is, what is your secret? Do you eat like honey and lemons every day? Or? <laughs> I, actually, I actually love lemon in general. So I put it, I took lemons and put it in my water. Um, I put lemon in my water. So that's the secret. Yeah. It's in the water. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I put lemons in paper. Yeah. And I put it in my water. And then I put it in my water. And then I put it in my water. And then I put it I just play like with singing since your voice is your instrument and it's your body. Mm-hmm. I have to make sure, you know, taking care of myself, make sure I'm active, make sure um, that I'm drinking and eating things that are better for me. So I don't really drink alcohol, but partially because I'm singing and partially because I have acid reflux, uh-huh. which flares up when I drink. So. If I have the acid come up and go through my vocal cords repeatedly, it can kind of fry them. So I have to be careful. Yeah. So, you know, I, it's, that's mainly what I do. And I do a lot of breathing exercises. Okay. Ah. Have you Have you ever been in a situation where you lost your voice and you needed it? Like before a show or something? Yes. Okay. Um, How did you, what did I you have to I lost my voice twice. Once, I was singing in a choir. And 
we were doing a show, I think it was uh, Fate, I don't know, I can't remember, like Bomb something. And um, I was just like going all the way out and not doing my voice out. I didn't think so all my month. I didn't know where I went. Mm. And I went to get a scope and they just said it was this way. Um, but it took over a month to get back singing again. And then the second time was during my master's recital, which I needed to pass to graduate with my master. So right. that was terrible. Oh, wow. And what I was losing my voice as I was singing the recital. Well, what happened? Do you do you get to okay in a situation like that? Do you get to come back and do it again? Because obviously that's not fair if you lose your voice. Right? Do they let you um, do it later, or you just have to do it then, and whatever comes come from it? Or no, unfortunately, unless like I was sick to the floor, you know, and like they were going to push it back. But because it was happening in the middle of the recital, um, they didn't, you know, I just had to kind of push through it um, and make it <laughs> through the whole recital. Because yeah. uh, it's an hour worth of music. Wow. But hold on, so I'm gonna just, I'm I'm just, just say this real quick for the people that just came in to the show that's watching. This is my cousin mm -hmm. uh, on the line. Her name is Ebony Martin. And uh, she's an opera singer, and she's telling us about uh, her career and and stuff that's going on with her. And she has an amazing voice. I don't know if she's gonna sing anything for us today, but uh, we listen to this. We just talking to. Yeah, we just talking to. Her today, yeah, no so pressure, no pressure, no pressure. But uh, I mean, <laughs> if you want to, <clears throat> you, you know, you know <laughs> what, 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 what I, I like about opera is that she, it can take you all over the world. Yeah. I, and the what when, when I heard this young lady speaking, singing a different language, I lost my little mind a little bit. Did you get a little emotional? <laughs> I kind of Wait, screamed. hold on, hold on, hold on. Did a tear come down your eye? I couldn't even tear up. You, I, didn't, you froze. I shook a little bit like. A spirit. Oh, we had church. You had church. Chill you had chill yeah, bones. I felt something. You felt something. In your spirit. I felt something in my mind. Spirit. In the spirit. Okay. Okay. And <laughs> no, I'm I'm serious. It was like this is new. Yeah. And it was like crisp, clear, loud, clean. And I was like, wow. It was like flawless. It was flawless. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it was a flawless victory. So, so go ahead. I would love to hear you sing, but of course that's putting on the spot. How can we find you? Do you have a YouTube or, or a website or something like that where we can be able to find witness you to, him, yeah. Yeah, to witness this great singing and speak, speaking of it? Well, I saw it on Facebook. I'm just going to see me. You, yeah, you can go to my Instagram. Instagram. What was it? Was it Instagram you put it on? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, you know, yeah, I knew it was, it was my, It was my Instagram because okay. I was too nervous to open up Facebook. And uh, I mean, I was, I was. You were nervous. I wasn't nervous. I was just caught up in the moment. I was like, oh, what? I didn't record click? this. Yeah, yeah, I just hit something, hit an application, <laughs> and, <it opened. laughs> and uh, I just started recording. But yeah, do you have, do you have a link or anything? And I can put it in the description to where people can uh, go watch a performance or anything on uh, YouTube. It's right gonna right. be on YouTube in the description of this video. Or do you have it on your Instagram? You know, I have not set up a YouTube. I don't know why, but a lot of my recordings are on my Facebook um, music page. Oh, okay. So I can send you a link of that. But okay. it's, the music page is just Ebony Marie Martin. Mm -hmm. And you can go there, and I have several recordings, and I'm trying to continue to update that with more recordings. I'm actually going to record again in a couple of weeks, like a slew of songs. For our business, so I'll make sure to put those up yeah. on my page. But yeah, if you want to find some stuff, it's on my Facebook music page. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I need to set up something like that too. I, I mean, I do have a, a YouTube, but I just got a whole bunch of stuff on it. It's just like a stuff page. It ain't no, it ain't no like a music page. But I, I'm just saying, I just need to do something like that. But I mean, if you do send me the link, I can put it in the video description. And uh, yeah, I would love to watch all of them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I'll do that. Yeah. So, okay. I think your daddy and my mama is like cousins or something like that, right? My dad? No, maybe my mom. Yeah, your mom and my dad. Your dad, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. Wait, who do that? My dad is Arthur James. He was sitting at the table with me, a little skinny guy. You know, oh. all, of, all of them pretty much have the same name. I guess that's just how they do it. Right. Like Uncle Arthur. <laughs> Michael's the same. Right. It's the same name. Yeah. Right. Arthur, Jesse, uh, you know. James. All of them was the same name, a bunch of them. But yeah. I, I didn't see you the second day because I had to DJ. I had to leave. And uh, I saw you oh. on I, I saw you on some pictures, my mama and my daddy. And my brother was there, but yeah, I missed you. I was waiting for you, but I had to go. Yeah, we, we ended up going later. Uh, I think my mom wanted to go later for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> so going back to um, those those times where you lost your voice, how did you recover from that? Um. Well, I mean, all you can do when you lose your voice. It means that you need to rest. Okay. You're doing too much. Okay. So usually when I lost my voice, not only was I singing too much, but I was just doing too much. Okay. When I moved to Las Vegas, I went to school full time. I was still performing outside of that, and then I was also working. Mm. And then when I got to my master's recital, I was working two jobs. Yeah. So I was just doing a lot, not resting enough. And, and that, that's one of the reasons why that happened. The climate change probably also played a part yeah. in your voice. Yeah, it, it's really different. You have to stay hydrated up here because it's so dry. Yeah. So that's another thing that you kind of have to keep an eye on. Because mm -hmm. yeah. when I came back from the desert, I was working in, in Midland. Texas and uh, when I came back to Houston I, I did the same thing I lost my voice and I lost my voice and I hadn't lost my voice in a long time and I was hoarse for like a month straight and I was like my voice <laughs> yeah and it was bad now I, I use my voice for a lot I talk loud mm -hmm. I, I, I sing right. I, I do a lot of stuff I, you know and I couldn't go without my voice and I, I it was scary Right. Yeah. It is scary, especially if you know it's something that you know pays your bill. Especially you. Your, can't think like about. Especially your <laughs> voice. You know, it's like, what are you here for? <laughs> you know, here's my question. Like, so when you lose your voice, how did they respond? Were they like, okay, you better get it back in a certain amount of time, and you out of here? Or is, you know, you hear that these stories about how Vegas can be, or were they supportive? They said, we're going to let you, you know, how did they, uh, what kind of support did you get? Well, in this setting, it was pretty supportive. Um, my teacher could tell that I was using my voice, made it decided. So they stayed pretty positive and made sure I walked through it. And in most situations, I've had the type of uh, support, even at work, but I know in more competitive situations, when let's say you're cast in the show, and then you have another cast, and then they have like three other shows. The moment you become sick, if you don't become well the next day, they, try they will push. replace you. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of singers end up having to, you know, take steroid shots or things like that. To try to get a quick turnaround so take, they can take what kind of the next day. Steroid shots? Oh, oh, steroid. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. So it's pretty demanding from the you know, the more competitive it is. It's rough out there in those streets. Mm-hmm. And all along all my trips to Vegas, I just thought it was like party. Oh, the climate. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, and then it gets, it gets so hot out there. That's my excuse. Dry. Next time, it's the climate. Yeah, it Dry. Right. Now I would love to. I would love to come to Vegas and see you in a show. 
I would love to see y'all anyway. You and my other cousin out there, I would love to come out there and see y'all. And we can go to your show when we get there. That would be great. I think, well, actually, <laughs> I'm new. So in the next month, both my husband and I are actually moving again. And we're moving to New York. Oh, oh. now we talk in New York. That's yeah. what I read. Well, that's where everything is. Yeah, that's where everything is. Mm -hmm. New York, so yeah. Okay. So, Bingman, if you're into opera, I mean, uh, are you into theater and things like that? Also? I am into musical theater. I'm trying to get more into it because my training is mostly classical, but I like musical theater. I've been teaching my own voice students musical theater as well. Mm -hmm. So, I'd love to get into that as well as opera once we move over there. Great. Say what? <laughs> Go get it, sister. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No. I like that. Uh, hey, mama, look at mama. It's, 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 mama it's, it's nothing, hey, Helen. It's nothing. Hey, mama. It's nothing like following okay. your dream. You gotta follow your dream. Yeah. Think right. You know, you, you, you see these stories and these people that have this town, they let, you know, something stop them. You just gotta keep pressing through. So this is this is very powerful right here. So you you in your car by yourself? Yeah. Now, I don't want you to do too much, but you gotta let them hear a little bit. Just a, you know, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if it's gonna translate well, but. <laughs> no, we hear you pretty good. I don't mind. Oh, okay. Um, would you like it in English or a different language? Different language. Different language. Different language. Whatever you choose for me. Different language. Okay. <laughs> okay, well then I'll sing I'll sing still the song that I sang at the family reunion. Is that okay? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna push it back a little bit. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listening to you sing, you know, like I don't know, it sounded like something from like a, like one of them old movies yes, that you remember. And I, had a tear. and I like, yeah, I had a tear like right there in my tear. I just, I just yeah. got, no, I didn't have a tear. No, I just, no, it, 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 it was, the, the, it hit you it with hit the warm well, part of your body. It really did. You know, I'm gonna tell you, for me, I was just like, I, for me, I'm like, I just closed my eyes. I'm like, I'm yes. at an opera. Yeah. I'm in somewhere. I'm, I'm hearing something. I'm in. I'm at an experience. Yes, it's new. Is 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 real up in these streets, man? If you if you're ever in Houston, let Vedrick know so yeah. he can let everyone else know. Yeah. I would love to support yes. you. We do a Houston show. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm just at least once a year. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Yes, yeah, that was beautiful. You have a beautiful voice. Keep doing it. Yes. Because you you know, you know what I love about music, man? Music heals the soul. It does. Yes, you are she my you're a soul heal. Look, I got a cousin on here, she said, is she part of our family? No, she part of my family. Oh, oh my daddy oh, side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's, yeah. your, that's your cousin. Matter of fact, she is cousins on my daddy's side. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking on both sides? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hebert. Uh, yeah. 
Wow. Uh, I didn't know she was related to you on both sides. Mm, that's beautiful. Huh. Well, hey. Hey, in the future, you do you think you go, you would want to like record an album or something like that? Or, uh, I would love to. I have like some projects in my head that I think would sell well, like a Christmas album. Mm-hmm. 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 That's kind of like not super operatic, but uh, it's kind of like pop opera. Oh, pop opera. Um, so, oh, would, would you need bad. any harmonica in that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, she don't know I play the harmonica. Oh, she just you just introduced her. I didn't know that. Yeah, she she just, this is my new cousin. She don't know about yeah. that. I'm sorry. Yeah, the new cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little sample right there. That's the one in the chat. Yeah, that was a, that was a sample. But uh, yeah, we we gonna have to. I probably wouldn't be able to sing no opera or nothing. But I probably can act something out. I probably could dance while you singing, you know, in some spandex and some oh, ballerina shoes. Nah, it may know. not be awful, but he can sing really well. That's yeah, I sing okay. He sings pretty good. Yeah, it's more than yeah. okay. Oh, thanks, my kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ebony Martin. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. Thanks for blessing us, young lady. Yeah. And uh, sorry we got the Thank time. You. Sorry we got the time mixed up. I, I was corrected over here. I almost got slapped. <laughs> was not. Zach, Zach was not. Zach, Zach was like, no, it's behind. No, it's yeah, behind. I, I just said okay. Point, I don't know why I mixed that up in my head. You know what? I looked on my phone the other day and I had it right. And that without my phone, because my phone is doing the recording right now. And I don't have my phone, so I got all confused, and I was like, "It's a hand," and I was for sure. It's okay. That's why I said okay. <laughs> it's okay. Cause you know what? She came on the show. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we it was talk, worth the wait. We've been talking about three hours trying to uh, stall. We yeah. trying. <laughs> <laughs> we done threw Bill Cosby under the bus again. Poor Bill. Poor Bill. Poor Bill. Yeah. But, it didn't click to me until like when I called you guys like five minutes before seven. Um, my time or yeah, my time. yeah, my time. Right. And I was like, oh my god, I'm the one that's at seven, not nine. You right. Know well, you know, uh, it's interesting because Silky was like. Man, we're gonna give her a few more minutes and like right after he said that you called. Yeah. Yeah. So somewhere, you know, you you knew it. It was signed. <laughs> yeah. It worked out. It did. Yeah. That's awesome. But thanks, cousin. Hey, will you be you able to put a? Uh, I'm sorry. Will you be able to put like a link to her stuff on YouTube? Yeah. Because on I, Facebook, everybody can't see Facebook from if they're not Facebook. Okay. Buddies, really. I'll. Uh, can we extract it somehow or something? Yeah, yeah. I think I can. Uh, Just extract quick, your link. Just a little song. And then uh, put it in the description on YouTube. But you guys have to go and watch the YouTube channel. And subscribe and share. And all this other stuff. Yeah. And watch the whole video. Oh, it was fire today. So. Oh, yeah. If you didn't catch the well, you, you, you gotta go back. Yeah, Ebony, you gotta go back. Watch the whole watch show. Watch the whole show. Yeah, the show. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. But, alright, young lady. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Warren. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Be safe too. Uh, yeah, going be on. safe. Yeah. Well, yeah, you pulled over? Yes, I'm in my parking lot now. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Because uh, <laughs> we heard a whole bunch of wind noise. She was getting there. She was getting there. Yeah, I, I think I was flying, honestly. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did have the window down. I was like, oh my God, I must be driving too fast. Slow down, girl. It was, it was about 90. The, 90. Sun, the sun's still up over there? The sun's still up over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's dark out here. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. dark in these points. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's pitching. Oh, well, you're two hours. You're two hours ahead. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's dark over here. I'm two hours ahead. See, Zay? I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to send it to yeah. our message, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. 
All right. Well, that's how that's how you end the show, y'all. Yeah, it's nothing else. It's nothing else to do. That's how you end the show. That's that's when you got singing like that. And that's what I'm talking about. But you know, you know, you know what we should, you know what we should do because it's the fourth job. We should find. Now wait, we told you we was gonna have fireworks. I know. But we need to find a way to put some fireworks. Oh, there she goes. Ah, okay. Hey, we see you. We see you. Yeah, cool. Now put on your page. Yeah. He got it. Oh, yeah. okay. He's yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we should we we should we should find a way that we could add some like fireworks and just have them singing underneath it somehow. Yeah. We'll extract it. We'll figure it out. Huh. Nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much thank for taking. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go home and practice this in a shower, okay? Hopefully I get it like you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna remember it. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna mess it up. I already know, so. At least in my mind. It's not the same. <laughs> in my mind. In my echoes. Well, well you know, singing in the shower is really great. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think some of my best singing in the shower. Only thing I sing in the shower was Tank. When we. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we. <laughs> uh, well, Ebony, thanks for blessing us. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. You see, I was trying to talk sweet like you. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks for blessing us. Yeah, but man, that you did it. This is like the best show ever. Yeah. 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 But it's going to get better. Awesome. Keep us posted when you're doing things. Call in, talk to us, chat. Hey, this has been a long show, man. We got to get out of here, y'all. Yes. Um, All the way from Las Vegas. We got calls from Louisiana today. We got calls from Las Vegas. We got my cousin online from Colleen, Texas. Oh, it's every, we everywhere, baby. We worldwide, baby. There you go. It's going down. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, young lady. Well, thank you again. And uh, I will keep in touch. Definitely. All right. You be good, here. Yeah? Keep the nice to you, girl. Have a nice night. All right. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh. You know, I it's great it's when you get everything. It's usually always be something that you don't want, you know, that don't get done. But everything got done. Mm -hmm. Got everything super host got over here. Join me. Man. Man. Uh, give me a... Uh, uh, okay, give me uh, a... Five. You got to let him switch. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. We missed that moment still. Yeah. It's too late. Tomorrow, uh, another wait, day. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> we look like rejects. It's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. The broad left anybody can play now. I'm just saying, you know, it's just like. Well, Kitty, give a shout out to my nephew for holding it down. As always, the engineer yeah, behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah. Making us look great. Making us look good. So professional. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, brother. Shout out to the uh, guy on the water game. Yeah. yeah. Put him out there. Shout again. out to Rodney Sullivan. Please. For the trap water. water. Alkaline sure. trap water, very good for your vocal cords. Just add a little lemon in that, and you probably can fly. Uh -oh, the red bull, what is it, the red, red bull commercial? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Trap water. Trap water. Trap water. It gives you things. It gives you things. Okay. You Keeps out bad things. Keeps out bad things. Uh, anti rape Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> but that's it, Wait a minute, hold on. You know, I know, you know what we need to do? What we did do, what we do every time, is the episode or the, or the thing we say, sit your ass down. Oh, who get the who get the award this week? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The anti-rape kid. I don't think the anti-rape <laughs> kid deserve it. I think the, the the people that designed it. The people that designed. Okay, so the people. So the people that designed the anti-rape anti -rape rape kid, please go, go sit, sit your, your ass, ass down. down somewhere. Thank you. And that's it. Now we done. Okay, Kaylee, 
Cut mama off here because she's still on here. Look, she thumbs, she thumbs up. Hey, Aunt Helen. Yeah. I just love Aunt Helen. Hey, Mama Helen. We out. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Don't be cut my ankle off. Bye. Oh, love you, Mama. Bye. <laughs> you go get a phone call. <laughs>